the mid raid. Must be mid raid. He can join the call when he's ready. All right. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in during the Minecraft segment. Um, excited to run some duos with Markstrom. Um, we'll say. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Not much has changed, but much is also the same since we last talked. What's going on, man? Yeah, I feel that. Actually, I don't feel that. I take it back. You don't? It's a bold face lie. No. I mean, what? I can hit you with one big change since the last time. What might that be? I mean, you live in Florida, right? <laughs> no. I thought, oh, North, you're, fr you're <laughs> live in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. But you love Florida. I'm from Florida. Yes. 20, 27 years, yeah. Well, it looks like you're... Your Uncle Irvin came home to Florida. I thought you'd be excited. Um, two reasons not excited. One, uh, it's Urban Meyer. We'll just put that one out there right away. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, as you know, <laughs> maybe. Not a fan. <laughs> what do you Not mean? a fan of all urban. What do you mean? He championed your favorite team, championed you to two national championships, and you don't like the guy? And then he comes home to bring a championship to Florida at the professional level, and you, you're that's not good enough for you? You ever hear this tale? The tale of urban? <laughs> you, could even, you could even suggest that this is where the term urban myth comes from. Okay. They're, they're falsities at their very core, Dan. <laughs> what what kind of falsity? Because when you sit there and you say, hey, I've really enjoyed being a part of the program. I'm missing out on a lot in life. You know, I got, I got a young daughter. I want to be able to be there for her. I want to be able to watch her uh, throughout her sports career and be a part of her life. And I feel like I'm missing that right now. As the Florida program goes into what can only be described as a hard rebuild as everyone is leaving that year. And okay. you say, okay, makes sense. We don't blame you. You know, we're going into a rebuild. You don't want to take that on yourself. We get it. You know, go enjoy your family. Urban, all good. And then one year later, sign with a different program that's ready to roll <laughs> right on the brink of a championship <laughs> loads of money flowing in <laughs> an urban legend if you will mm. dan yes but look can i can i just let me just play devil's advocate for a second <laughs> just, just real quick what about uh you know maybe he 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 watched a lot of volleyball you know, in that year, and he's like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Not a volleyball fan, as it turns out. <laughs> You've seen one volleyball game, you've seen them all. Yeah. I mean. uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I, right. I, no I, maybe that's maybe that's fair. I didn't maybe want to I start looking at it like that. I didn't want to start out with the hot take, but Yeah, that's uh, okay. So that's all right. So let's let's pivot. What's going on in Tarkov? How's your Tarkov career going? My Tarkov career is phenomenal. I'm tell, feeling good. Tell me about it. Uh, this wipe has been some of the most fun I've ever had in the game. So that's a great feeling. Because of what? You know, that's a great question. I think like a lot of the... <sighs> well, it, first and foremost, I think it's because we went eight months without a wipe. <laughs> <laughs> so that helps. So that, you know, that was a very refreshing experience. I also think that the concurrent users being the highest they've ever been certainly helps, especially from my perspective and what I enjoy in game, which is a lot of PvP, as you know. So a lot of players per rate, feeling good about that. Having a lot of fun PvPing. Um, and then a lot of the different aspects of the game, just like they feel good and feel relatively balanced in the sense of progression. 
Um, it's been so long since I've done like all these starting tasks that uh, I'm enjoying them, and I'm also enjoying the process of min maxing mm. in the sense where I'm I feel very well prepared to grab things early and in advance and feel good about it, and you know ver a whole lot of uh, buying low, selling high. Oh, you've been in the you've been in the economy a little bit. Definitely been working the economy, but in conjunction with the spikes of the median player level and where they are, right? So knowing, hey, I'm here. They're cheap right now, but they're going to be expensive when other players are here at this point and need this item specifically, and then the prices will sky skyrocket then. So I've been playing that a lot, and it's been fun. I love that. Like that's that's like new and refreshing. But like you're putting some thought into like in your opinion right now, where do you think at roughly what level is the average player? Or is that not how you look at it? Um, you can look at it like that for sure. But you look at I it like you look at it like task oriented? Or even just like hideout specific. Okay. Um like so a lot of people are uh trying to piece together their Bitcoin farm right now and or upgrade it and then also uh, create their scav case, like the scav gambles. Mm -hmm. um, so those items that are required for both of those right now are just monumental. And they, and they weren't like as of two weeks ago. So two, in, two and a half weeks in ago. preparation for that, what did you do? Uh, well, I, I went out of my way to grab some of those items early mm -hmm. um, while they were still cheap. So I was ready to, like, build the stuff, even even though I wasn't there yet. I got so you. So that felt nice. I got um, you. It's not like I'm going on to the market and investing, right? Buying, like, 20 not... of this item, knowing that it's going to go for 10x a few weeks down the road. Okay. Could have done it. Um... I, but I just, I'm not, I don't really care about how much, how many rubles are in my account, to be fair. But you did that it to like, get me going. you did it to get like a discount? I did it because I knew it would be easier mm. at one point versus another. Okay. And that's really it. Okay. No, that makes that's sense. That's the sauce is for me, because that feels good. Okay. From like a gameplay perspective. Yeah. That's what get, there's a lot of different ways to get sauce in this game. That's cool, man. I, that's uh that's an interesting take on it. That's it's exciting. I felt unique to this white, you know, versus the others for sure. So um, what about you? How are you feeling? Well, I was like, I've been thinking about, you know, dueling with you for a while. And I'm like, okay, hey, look, Markstrom is, is clearly a top tier player. And I want, and, it, <laughs> Another and if, urban legend. <laughs> and if you don't mind, I, I am in a position right now. I mean, probably like when you're describing a hideout, you're kind of describing mine to a T, but I am in need of a lead X. And I was One wondering if, if you have any keys that could potentially get us into a Letex scenario. You're going to sit there and tell me you didn't watch the beginning of my stream this morning and then bring that up? I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was at the dentist this morning. But if they, if they had Twitch TV, I would have, you would have been my choice. Likely Urban Legend. Um, so this morning, I said to myself, you know what? We need a Letex today. <laughs> Woke Did, up and thought, you know what? Today's the day. We're going to get that lead X to go with our two ophthalmoscopes. And well, we're going to give it to Elvira. Okay. And uh, so, I, so I went through and pulled up the wiki, talked to chat, and we meticulously went room by room. Okay, which key? I don't have that key. Buying that key. Perfect. So I get into the resort okay. with my pistol in hand, as one should, when running for lead Xs. And I enter the tape key room, first room. Uh, I have to like run past some scavs uh, or what I think are scavs like next to me that I, I can feel them in rooms. I hear them shuffling and stuff. So I just, I quickly open the room. I get inside and close the door. Sure as can be, there's a LedX in the shower. <laughs> well, hey. I take the LedX and, you know, I put it in my container. And I start hearing shouting, and I realize 
it's not scavs outside. It's Sanitar and his group. Okay. And they're camping my door. Okay. And if you want to see how that plays out, you have to visit youtube.com slash Martian TV <laughs> in the next, <laughs> next few days. <laughs> but that was my that was my morning. That was my morning bright and early. Well, that's exciting. Uh, so I have a container with all the LEDX keys, and I know exactly where they are. So if you want to... That, that would be great. If you want to make some moves... That'd be great. Um, I'm prepped and primed. What is your current... Uh, it changes, I feel like, monthly. What is your current in-game name? <laughs> McTwist? It used to be McTwisty. That was not me. It was something like that. Um, what was it? Mick, uh... There, there was, there was, uh... <clears throat> there's usually a variant. Uh, that was a doodle's name, I believe. Uh, but you had a, something like that. Minji That's what it was. Typically, yes. Okay. Now, currently, we are Ween Sneeze TTV. <laughs> Okay, ween, yeah. sneeze, yeah. TTV. Oh, Indeed. level 42, okay. There's another one with, there we go. Thank I, you. I'm not going to ask. Um, it's best, yeah. I am uh, I am in Shoreline um, on one of the sides that happens to not be in the middle of the, the evening if you'd like to uh, join. I also, I sent you a squad stream invite too, if you'd like. You don't have to. Accepting all the invites. Yeah. Good to go. Okay. Uh, let me just get a pistol on board, and uh, and I'll meet you in lobby. Give me a pistol. Grab a little pistol. I mean, I like a little sidearm. Actually. Oh, that, that you're not. When I say I bring a pistol, that's like my primary. You like it as the side piece. Uh, you know, there are some pistols that <clears throat> are are impressive and can be used as a primary for sure. No doubt. Yeah. What's your pistol of choice these days, Dan? You know what? Chad is going to roast me for it, but I like the Glock 18 full auto big stick and then with no stock and then I just let it rip. Recoil and all. Uh, the kids these days, I think they call that a, a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> the big stick, no stock, let her rip. <sighs> like a Beyblade. That's, that's kind of how we do it. I like that. I, I like that a lot. You got to respect that. So I'm glad you've been having good, you've been having good Tarkov. <laughs> yeah, I've been deep. I've been, I, you know, this is like the one of the first wipes that I've been playing like offline too. Like I'll do mm. a task here and there and I'll be like, eh, eh, I could, I could do some of that. Or I could play around with uh, some scavs offline or work on some for the hideout. That's pretty rare. That's rare air for me. I'm not, I'm not typically that guy. I'm usually trying to play something that I don't get to play on stream a lot, but. Um, yeah. I don't know about you, how you feel, but when I'm done streaming Tarkov and like, I'll be out the door and be like, man, I want to play some more Tarkov. I'm not even out of like the room yet. That's how I feel a lot of the time. Yeah, I need an hour or two, but yeah, I, <laughs> I hear you. I'm glad you're enjoying it as well. Yeah. That feels good, man. Yeah. I think that's pretty much been, that's been the consensus uh, for everyone I've talked to uh, in the category. They're feeling real good about it. Uh, you know, there's things that I'm still critical of, but um, yeah, be damn near best it's been. I've, one of the things I found um, a little different, and I think it's from doing the Punisher tournament, is that a lot of players that I saw who competed in that, that did well, they don't ADS. Like, they they just spray. And I'm like, man, mm -hmm. like, I've been using lasers a lot, and I've noticed for me, and I'm like, I'd say, like, average to sub-average player, it's made a big sure. difference of, like, using actually using lasers each time. And then using that and it's helped a ton blue laser point fire will change your life i always think if about the, it's not something that you're that that a player is doing often yeah it's it's life-changing game-changing <laughs> probably more so 
I think about that, but I also always think about um, the Markstrom prophecy, which is if you're going to spend money, spend it on ammo. And the times when I get myself in trouble, I don't follow the Markstrom prophecy. You know, it'll it'll get you every time. Ammo is everything. And I think like the community now has caught up uh, more than ever. And so you see ammo prices like <laughs> 2,000 around, like minimum for some of these ammos. It's wild. So they're getting it. That's the, the marks from prophecy is now becoming main. What in the Samwell Tarly? I can't even see you on the screen. <laughs> yeah, the, the private military contractor. I mean, there's camo, and then there's literally you can't get head eyes because you're all you can see are your eyes. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> came to play, Dan. You know what? I expect nonetheless. Speaking of coming to play, I've been following your your Instagram stories. Oh yeah. How many months are you in on your lifting now? Uh, we're pretty deep. Uh, definitely way more consistent than i've ever been right now um so that feels good i uh it did like the fun cut with the community back uh it ended in october what's fun cut meaning that uh we had i had like a goal weight to get down to oh. to cut to and uh if i didn't then i had to rock a mustache for like a week Okay. On stream, like the mustache only. Okay. It's not something that I necessarily wanted to do. So it was inspiring uh, to be vigilant with the diet and exercise. And uh, I got down, like I beat the, I beat the goal. Ooh. I got down to 173. Okay. And how tall are you? 5'11". Okay. So that's, I mean, that's like, I think that's under a little bit, isn't it? I mean, I don't know, you know, everyone's body's different, but that's like, it was pretty thin. Yeah. It was, I was like, you know, I, I wasn't like crazy thin, but pretty, you know, in the teens for body fat percentage. Mm -hmm. um, what were you at? Uh, you know, I think I was like the highest I had seen was like maybe 190. Okay. Then. Yeah. Um, a good amount of weight. Um, it was like 20 pounds and like. I, I think I had like six weeks to do it or something. That's a lot of weight. I mean, if you pick up 20 pounds in your hands, like that's heavy. Yeah. And then imagine that sure. coming off your body. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, well, now imagine that I weighed in. So I didn't weigh since then. And I weighed in yesterday. And I have been uh, bulking since then. What does that on, mean for on, the... Just means like specifically lifting heavier. Um, You know... uh really trying to make like strength gains in, ad in addition to the hypertrophy that I'm after. Um, and eating definitely out of caloric surplus. Um, so you're trying to gain so, weight for sure. Are you, are you fighting soon? Are not you, fighting. No, <laughs> you just no, want just, what propelled just, you to want to gain weight through the winter. I don't really care. Like, you know, you wear, you wear sweaters. Like, there's no better time to bulk than the winter. Okay. Right? Um, it's not like I'm leaving my house regardless of what, what the season is right now. Um, so I just weighed in for the first time uh, at 198.6. <laughs> so. <laughs> Whatever you're doing so is working. 20, 25 pounds. But uh, that's without, like, uh, gaining a ton of body fat percentage. So it was a very successful bulking season. So I feel good about it. So about time to cut again. Yeah, hey, I and noticed. We'll try and get back down to a, you know, uh, a reasonable body fat percentage uh, with hopefully more muscle mass on the frame than before. That's, uh, so then you, so it's when summer, then you're already bulked up and then what do you lean up again? Or is that, I don't even know how that works. I will, I will continue to just like, lean gain through the summer gotcha yes sir hey i noticed you don't have a backpack on i don't is it because you have like 100 million ruples <laughs> 23 mm, or something that, right that, now? that would be a yes 
It's a few. It's a few, but it's really not from looting. Um, it's just from completing the tasks and then slinging a lot of the task rewards on the market because they come found in raid. Oh. But so also... Especially, like, the thick cases and stuff. Like, I sold a couple of those for, like, like 10 mil a piece. Are you I'm in front really of me? Are you in front of me with a, a sidearm? Yeah. Okay, okay. You changed... Okay, there you go. Dude, you look, your guy looks sweet. It's like you have neon Thank everything. You. Like, yeah, I like the clothing. Have you not played around with the ragman? Oh, excuse me. It's, my, all, it's, always, a, it's always a dream of mine, but yeah. you, you got to play, you got to pay. So I like you to do, play, yeah. But I find, I, find it, I find his prices to be reasonable. Hmm. Thinking ragman's a little unreasonable with what? Not unreasonable, just a, a high you know, fashion. It's just, you know, it's... Uh, we have very humble beginnings right now. You know, we're just trying to make it raid to raid. Rubbing a few ruples together. Hopefully they duplicate and, you know, anything could happen. What have you been playing outside of Tarkov lately? So, I've been playing um, after Spelunky 2, uh, Minecraft. There's a, um, which is crazy because it's the first game ever streamed on twitch in 2012 and you're like okay the game's like whatever 10 years old but uh it's like new man they've added so much and it's been really enjoyable it's like tarkov it's a lot like tarkov a lot of looting there's some permadeath and it hurts man no i haven't heard you i haven't heard about you playing minecraft but i've heard a lot about this dadcraft oh dadcraft yeah <laughs> so so it's dadcraft so it's basically it's a server with uh started by this guy sips who's a dad and then he started inviting other dads and then non-dads joined and then you know it's it's just been it's been a fun little uh project and the cool thing is that i think you'd like some of the dads play tarkov those you know it's a good group of dads you got there yeah well, it's fun have you ever played minecraft so i've tried it mm -hmm. a time or two uh, I have some buddies that I game with a lot off stream and mm. they did a server recently like just like a friendly community server type deal and uh, I got in there briefly but um, you know I don't like I understand that there is an objective to Minecraft mm -hmm. but I am such like a linearly based objective kind of guy that some of that creativity is a little lost on me. I'm a bit too type A for Minecraft, I think. No, I understand, but uh, I'm gonna get this the scab in the red jacket in the courtyard. I need him out. Um, oh. But uh, like a game like Tarkov, I I feel like are you are you left? You went left. I am. Uh, I'm, a I'm game like there. Tarkov doesn't. I mean, I know there's quests, but it's kind of ambiguous. Or what, you set your own path in Tarkov. I mean, I feel like progress is progress, you know. Like you're <laughs> the talking like levels go up, the levels go. Up. <laughs> I got you. Uh, the the tasks are set out in front of you. Um, I don't know. Like I I just I find I would have to look something up for Minecraft, I guess, to know what I'm even working towards. I understand. For this you know? is like there's a framework, and how you get to it is your own choice. But yeah. there is a framework. I got you. I, I like I, I think there's there's some sort of there's a there's a there's a dragon an ender dragon of sorts so correct me if I'm wrong and that's like that's like beating the game yeah right? I think there's a couple end bosses now gotcha um, okay but I found like ironically enough with Tarkov I've enjoyed this season a lot more because I focus more on quests instead of just kind of messing around it's great yeah. to have an objective in Tarkov <laughs> yeah. yes I don't like, like in life. going into a raid with something in mind to do like and just knowing because like when you grab that item that you came in for and then you have to get out with it like it's such an additional rush to just like playing you know yeah all right i'm gonna dial here so we're looking yeah. for sanitar's office right is that the okay so i'm gonna hit you with something okay and don't get don't don't be upset with me don't be disappointed okay i didn't bring any of the keys Okay. Okay. I I have 301. Okay. That's yeah. that we have a shot, right? We have, By golly, we got a shot. All right. It's never over. 
So for the first time today, because of this whole key thing, I bought a money case so Hold that. On. Okay, that was you. I thought I heard someone. Sorry. Oh, 301. We got to we got to go down and then up. My bad. Um, I bought I bought a money case, and then I used my docks case to put all my shoreline keys into. And then I have all my other keys in my sick case. And I have two cases. Oh. And I'm not used to hot swapping that, so I apologize. No, dude, it's... If you're the first person to forget your keys in Tarkov. <laughs> I mean, you're talking to someone who does it on a daily basis. Alright. Sometimes you leave them behind. It's a shame, too, because I think this is pretty quiet. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, th yeah. this this is floor only, or it could be floor or, or, and in the next room. That's a great question. Sometimes, chat. There was something that spawned yesterday in the carpet. It was wasn't very oh, good. Oh, you got though. a cursor over kind of deal. Yeah. Oh, okay. What else do you need? Or do you need anything in the game? I need an antique teapot. Okay. And a found and raid Makarov. Oh, that seems very oddly specific. Well, the raid before you joined. Don't tell I me. I had one. <laughs> Don't tell me. And I got hawked down. <laughs> oh, no. Those are not like, they don't grow on trees. I'll tell you that. They do not. I've been searching for it for days now. <laughs> And I got pushed by a two man. I had zero stamina. I had a five seven. And I took one with me, but that was all I could do. You know, sometimes it's that's Tarkov. Um, okay, are you in the hallway? I am. Okay. I'm just holding her tight. Alright. So that was that was that was our shot, yeah. I also have I mean, I have two oh five, but I don't think we can get one there. And, and then the so. HEPS key. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> we can uh, mm, spawn over there. Are there any uh, natty spawns for the Ledex? Non keyed? Not particularly. Okay. There, there are, but those, I think the odds are. Let's check 205 real quick, if you don't Not mind. in our favor. It's rare that I get to come in here with a uh, mm -hmm. you know, high-level Sentinel. Oh, you know what? Uh, this could actually be one. There's, there's steps in the north wing. Okay. Huh? Right now, even like these painkillers, man, everything I pick up just... I mean, you see what kind of backpack Work I'm well. using. Yeah. I mean, I see. I don't know, man. I just feel like this game is so special. Like, I just, I just love it, man. It's like, I feel like we're kind of spoiled, man. It's just, uh, they just, I, I think they do such a good job continuing to update it and develop it. And, but I think more important than that is Nikita's uncompromising in his vision, which sometimes that may sound like a bad thing, but I think it's a great thing, you know? He doesn't having the vision's really good. Uh, and I think like where it's headed versus where it is or where it has been, um, super impressive, super, super, super impressive and playing all their shooters <laughs> right now versus this. <laughs> I'm off. I'm often disappointed by that. Any new shooter that I play is just like, you know, eh, not Tarkov. take it or leave it. Yeah. Not Tarkov. Sorry, I just thought the idea of imagine playing another shooter. Yeah, all right. All right. it is. It's, it's laughable. There are some, right? Like uh, there's some like competitive shooters that I really enjoy. But tell me, I, I feel like I feel like you got some because I know you play this game a lot and you have a different perspective. There are some things I know you want, you would like to see improved upon. Welcome, mm -hmm. brand new subscriber. But like, it's not a lot. It's a very short list. Oh, you hear that? Incredibly short. You hear list. that? Right here. It was wood. I don't know if it's above us or below us. Below. Yeah. In this room. Mm. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. I got my I got my head like <laughs> I could feel myself like trying to look under my monitor. Yeah. <laughs> so you think he's this way? Oh yeah. <clears throat> look so confident lying there with your matching gun. About. Yeah. Right behind you. I wasn't as graceful as you were. What I don't tell the people at home is that I didn't mean to fall there. Oh. <laughs> you, you fell without making a noise. Nope. That's just one of those things I want to see improved on. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there definitely should have been a noise for you. <laughs> I'm not sure where he got to. Seems sneaky. Okay. I just love this game. It's just... It's... There's... It's immersive. Uh, yeah, there's no game right now. There's no games. There are very few games that can get your, like, heart rate pumping. Like, legit pumping. It's just there's so much... Yeah, oh, there's that, a guy, guy, guy on the post. He just yep. dropped down. You saw him. I'm gonna push him, or you're gonna? I'm gonna. I'm gonna flank left. Actually, you'd make the call. I don't wanna. Uh, yeah, we can just push together. There's a hop over right here in the corner. Okay. Too aggressive? Or you think we're okay? I think we'll be all right. Okay. Try to cover you while you hop. Onto this rock next. I think he's playing underneath the rock. If we can't see how he got away, he could be tucked here. Okay. I went right. Which has me nervous. Same. I'm just underneath you. Trying to make some noise. At least I could decoy for you. Are you still up in the rocks? Or you went down. I'm just underneath you. Yeah. Okay. One level. I got eagle eye. I don't see him. I'm hopping down. You go back up and wrap. It's a little bit. I'm just trying to get some elevation. See if he's in any of these like little divots. Yeah. He may have just booked it. Feels that way. Just surprised we didn't see him when we got to the crest. He didn't want any. He didn't want the. He didn't want the Markstrom. I gotta be. <laughs> Whatever. What do you have? DBL. It's such a cool looking gun, man. It's really neat. Yeah, it's a cool gun for sure. Very quiet raid, huh? Surprisingly. Yeah. Won't complain about a warm up. No, no. But this is the kind of time where, like, I like a little spice. You know, when you're playing with someone good, like you, you're like, oh, nah, now nah, give, give me the four v two. We'll get them. <laughs> oh, you heard those. When I'm solo, I'm rat. Now it's like I got <laughs> a little more zealous. Yeah, got a little there sauce. What do you think here? What's up? I think we just wrapped the outside. We have to head towards Road to Customs for extract, I believe. So yeah. we can uh, we can glass that open field. I do have um, I gotta mark two trading stations, uh, office and cottages. That they're kind of out of our way, huh? No. Undo those. I haven't done that town, so I don't know exactly where I got to do it. Up. I went to the cottages yesterday and found it, and then the blue boy got me. I have to head to cottages as well, so because I can check some teapot sauce for the uh, and the safes. Are you keeping the teapot for what the kappa? 
Or no, what are you keeping? Teapot, teapot is uh, high crime or mm. I don't know, high pollutant living, <laughs> something like that is the task name. Kappa, you need every streamer item. That's correct. Yes, including the Raven. Including the Ooh, Raven. I get so I rarely see those. I get so hyped when I see them. Big, uh, big safe items. Ooh, what, much I've never seen this box okay. before. Found in Raid Macaron. <laughs> Snack. Let's go. Uh, there's some kind of like flash hider or something. I didn't, I didn't ID it. I feel like we'd at least seen a blood trail. We hit that guy a couple times, no? He's got to be yeah, heavy bleed. It depend. Yeah, it has to be a heavy for it to be an issue. He was well armored. I do not have very penetrative rounds. What do you got in that bad boy? Uh, M80 in the DVL, and in the 5.7, they're like the SS 190s, I think it is. Okay. But which are good. It's just you know. I just love on the DVL how the the hole that the bullet comes out of is so small, and it just sounds like I don't know, like a pneumatic something, you know, just. Thuk, thuk, thuk. I mean, it doesn't sound like that, like but kind of. Like a Yeah, I don't know what that is, but. Gun? <laughs> Are you a paintball guy? I was growing up. Yeah. Enjoyed it. It's fun. Hitman makes like old pneumatic guns. Does it. How would you describe someone that's never been hit by a. Um, by a paintball? What does it feel like? Like a punch? It hurts. Really? <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, uh, like if somebody took their knuckle and punched you with just like you know what i mean a quick one. like jabbed you with it okay. yeah that's not great some are worse than others you know depends on like what the fps is set to and which depends on like the kind of paintball you're playing or like the field regulations do you so do you play is, do you play it like a br or when you used to play like if you got hit you're out or how does that work yeah okay. yeah that's cool Basically, i like that's that. the rules and like uh, most people go through like a pretty natural Ooh. progression of like they'll start out doing like woods ball. Which is which just is messing little, around. It, you know, it's uh, there's still like rules, but it's a little bit more casual. It's a good like entry way to start playing. Um, and then you'll go to like fields that have like speed ball, which is um, speed ball. I think it's up. Yeah, here. there's no there's no like woodland cover but it's um speed like you'll be ball. behind <laughs> yes speedball um you'll be behind like uh i don't know like gigantic um i don't even know how you describe them sometimes like the bunkers are aluminum or or like wood like planks mm. big like tires and stuff And then there's like air ball, which is like the super serious, <laughs> highly competitive stuff that you see. Uh, air ball? All like the, the inflated bunkers. Yeah. Why is that more hardcore? Um, yeah, that's a great question. I couldn't tell you. Mm. That's just what that's like professional paintballs played on air ball. Did you fields. play? Did you play speed ball? I, I did it all. It, you know, it's they all have their advantages. What was the most fun you had? Uh, Hold on, do you hear ball, steps? Probably. Steps outside? Yeah. Oh, Roman up, up behind me? Yeah. Let me watch your front door. Oh, it's scary. Huh. Could be Sanitar, though. Be careful. Could be. Back here somewhere. with you it's definitely one of the most fun things though that we did like growing up outside of like mixed martial arts was the paintball we'd like travel around the state and do different things it's fun you get to like Big time no. cherished memories <laughs> is it like a league or just like it's like a hobby group you i mean you can't you can participate in a league if you want yeah 
Эй, земляк, мы спать не хотим, мы так наблюдаем. Nice shot. Um, that's cool, man. So, like, when did you start? Like, probably like early teens or like twelve year old. Yeah, I think I was like more like eleven or twelve when we started. We did it for a few years. Sounds like fun. You get get outside, run around. Yeah, I could. I I definitely could have used the exercise then. Why do you say that? <laughs> I was a uh, I was a heftier twelve year old. Really? Oh yeah. You know, like it is still pretty normal, like pre growth spurt chonking. <laughs> Have you ever re released any of those pictures on Instagram? Oh, absolutely, it's been discussed, yeah, and they've been shown on stream for sure. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, because my dad, my dad watches the stream almost every day, so anytime something like that gets mentioned, I'll get a text and I can show it. <laughs> is, is his name Dadstrom? Popstrom, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. That's cool. Is your dad into Tarkov? Or he'll watch whatever you're playing. Did you mark what you needed to mark? Yeah, yeah, I did. Sorry, I should. Nice. What was the other one? Um, the other one is the one by the office. By light, lighthouse. Yeah, yeah. That, that office. Okay. Let's roll. Um. Do your dad like Tarkov or he, he doesn't care what you play, he just likes watching? I think he just likes watching. I don't think, yeah, I don't think he cares what game it is. He likes the community. He likes talking to people. I'd like to there see are it. some games that he does not like. Like Last of Us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's always impressed by good graphics. So Last of Us, he's probably into. Despite the... The storyline shortcomings. <laughs> uh, he does not like Rust. He hates Rust. Why? He feels he he feels like you're just constantly hitting a rock with a tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's surprising. Every you. single time he talks about Rust, he's like he'll just say clank, clank, <laughs> clank. <laughs> but uh, do you like Rust? Do you enjoy Rust? I love Rust, yeah. How for you, how is Rust different than Minecraft? Um, Because I call Rust adult Minecraft. So in, so in Minecraft, are you, so the biggest thing for me in Rust is it's the exact same risk reward that Tarkov or Daisy has in the sense where um, you want to take over the server, right? <laughs> uh, for, for Rust, you want to take over the server. <laughs> Not necessarily the same in the other games, but... So you want to take over the server in the sense that you want you want to feel comfortable and safe in your own base. You want to like prevent it from getting raided, but also just like raiding other players or resources is this like big risk reward gamble, which is why the game is fun. So like you have to figure out creative ways to get into their base without expending too many resources because you never know if the the juice is going to be worth the squeeze. So the more creative you are, the, like the more knowledgeable you are about the game, the easier it is to get into their base and reap those rewards, whatever's in there, right? So like, sometimes you hit the massive jackpot with very few resources, and that's like, you know, that's very exciting. What's like a uh, clever way you've gotten into someone's base before? Or what you would think would be clever? You know, it's not, um, I don't, I don't think that the game allows for like, massive creativity <laughs> to where you're like doing things that maybe haven't been thought of but it's basically just being able to dissect their base mentally and figure out okay this is like the shortest way or easiest way or least amount of resources to get to where i think they're keeping their best loot based on what i'm looking at uh, i got you yeah, so there's a lot of gambling involved in that sense. And it and it feels really good to obviously hit the jackpot, like to, <laughs> to use your only two C4 that you may have to blow down the one wall that leads to all the sauce, you know, like and then and then you, you are able to reap back like um the materials to, to get that C4 back and then some. And that's real and just keeping that snowball going is what Rust is all about. Got it. And then So does that does after hearing that, do you feel like that relates to, to Minecraft in a similar way or no? 
I mean, I feel like you're that uh, risk reward is against the maybe more against the environment in Minecraft and in Rust, it's against other players. Gotcha. It's more PVE yeah. focused. I understand. But it, the canvas is very similar. But I but but hearing you why you play Rust, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, just like every raid is a gamble. It's up to you to decide how much you want to bring in versus how much you think you can get out of it, right? Uh, I'm going to clear this. You want to clear this before I mark? I just don't want to. Yep. Yeah, this is looted in here. I think they're gone from inside. Really hope we find you a Makarov somewhere. It would feel great. <laughs> so good. What is that come up feeling though? Like what are you doing in 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 Minecraft where you feel like this is why I play? Uh I think for it's fun because it's uh on the Dadcraft server it's like a collective. Like it started out with sips and sips is like hey like i need this area cleared out so we can build the dome so it's like your contri like my thing with dadcraft is i just want to be a contributor and not a taker right so gotcha as yep. people need food and so i like like contributing to that societal type deal i'm good here um you, you know but try? a boat we can try it. i'm not a huge f boat and then um there's a spot on customs I, I'm not a fan of. Um, it's sometimes the light works, sometimes it doesn't. What's that one called? R U A F. Yeah. That one. Yeah, I don't feel great about that. She's open, bud. Excellent. I actually have an exclamation point avoid in my chat. It says avoid boat extract and ruaf, but hopefully you know, hopefully it just turns the tides here a little bit. I'm a big fan. I'm a big proponent of the uh, of the boat. You like the boat. You're not worried about getting boat. like picked off right here. No, I, I don't think it's ever happened. Actually. Ever? Okay. I mean, I say that as I get out specifically. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want to give it like a 10 second buffer there for sure. But that's a nice W, man. We'll we'll take a W there. Not too bad. You want to uh, run it back with keys? Yes. All right. Sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, spam the hard W. Markstrom raid one and O. Oh. I thought we may have got that second one too. We'll take it. We're on a little bit of a win streak here. We'll take it. Appreciate you guys being here. If you guys don't know, we're playing with Markstrom, by the way. Uh, Markstrom. I have known a couple years, two years. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it. He's very, very well versed in the game. Um, and, you know, clearly, I mean, you can just tell when someone logs in and you see their character, you're like, that's a different kind of player. Different kind of player. Um, hey, Mir, thanks for the 12 months of Prime. I appreciate the one year support. Holy. Enjoy your gold chain. Maniac, thanks for the six months. Enjoy your white gold chain. Gowie, thanks for the two months. Dr. Flopper for the nine months. Hidden Squids for the 10 months. DP Dickin for the 15 months. Gromex for the gifted subs. Lyoko for the 28 months. Holy bird. Let me um, gear down here. We'll just, we'll, we'll quick gear. We'll quick gear. Did you bring those with us? Let's go. Uh, I need a little something something to drink Put the PKs in there for later Put That in there for later Sell that let's buy a little water And Chug that What are we missing maybe we could probably use a little bit more Amos You think we should should we do some upgrading? Nah, we don't. We don't. Know. We want to run it back. We want to run it back. Give me a sixty stack. Give me a thirty stack. All 
All right, little 30 stack. All keyed up. <laughs> when you say all keyed up, <laughs> I, I got a feeling like you, you got a, a nice little stash of keys. Um, let's see. I think we're sitting on 11 potential light extra rings. I didn't even know there was 11 in the game. You know, this is what the wiki says. I would never question the wiki, Dan. Would you ever consider like adding a wiki? Like an entry? The depend, <laughs> depends on what? What are we talking about? Like if you're like, hey, there's something that needs to be in the wiki. Like would you sign in and then um, do it? Like write it, write a little entry. I don't know if that wiki is publicly edited or not. Oh, I got you. Or if it's privately ran and edited. I got you. Sure. Good question. All right, cool. I am in Shoreline. On my way. My uh, my menus are pretty slow right now. I know it's like right when you get out of a raid. Like it takes uh, yeah a lot of a lot of a lot of data. Uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ask how did um how did uh, Tarkov ten days go for you? I know you had like um you did do you do a twenty four hour? I did. How did that go? Phenomenal. Great time. Really excellent, and I felt. Um, I felt the best about the content that came out of this 24 better than probably like any others in the past, which is saying a lot because we've done a lot of 24s. So did it have um, to do with it? Like any preparation you did like physically prior to, or is it yeah, preparation always, what did you always do to makes the difference to an extent? Uh, I just had a good game plan for like different, um, different parts of the cast mm -hmm. just knowing what i was getting myself into like as far as like i work on these tasks at this time that kind of thing and just like or if this happens i can just do this and uh it worked out really well we also had a nice um but a nice segment prepped uh that we do for 24s for tark lately uh this is the bingo? bingo yeah i saw your bingo card we do our own little bingo but you don't know and, what it uh, is, right? Is that I the, don't, which yeah. is definitely what makes it fun. Having no idea. So I, those, you know, preparing for that kind of thing is like, I'm very appreciative of the friend group that, that puts that together and helps me manage that. So um, how do you fun. how do you show the bingo card without seeing it yourself, like logistically? I drag what? OBS half Ooh. off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're not fancy here, Dan. <laughs> And then I got it. Okay. And then is yep. it is it like a gif or something? Uh the bingo is manipulated mm -hmm. through stream elements overlay. So oh. it can be done by an editor on the fly. That's cool. And then it's just live updates. You got it. Oh that's pretty slick. I saw that. You're like, yeah, I can't see the bingo card, and I'm like yeah, there may be a chance. There could be like maybe you see through like. There could also be a chance that he's lying to thousands of people right now. <laughs> I mean, I I gave you the benefit of the doubt, but I'm like, there's got to be there's got to be some like production wizardry, because mm -hmm. Markstrom would not lie. I try to the not audience. To. Yeah. No. Try not to. But you've been doing a good job keeping up the ruse that you don't like Urban Meyer, so you know. <laughs> yeah, I um, you know. I'm not a, I don't have a team for the NFL. I never really have. Like my family growing up, like we just didn't root for the Dolphins. Um, like we didn't like the Dolphins. We have like three options. Local teams, so. I do have three options, but they, those other teams just didn't feel like home team. Why didn't you? I mean, you had Dan Marino. You didn't. They didn't like Dan the man. No, nope, not that Dan. No, nope, no, nope, wasn't a fan. Family wasn't a fan. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, it just, the dolphins didn't stick and thank God. Cause if I had to go through the last 30 years of dolphin fandom, I think I'd be pretty disappointed.
So I got a curveball for you. What you got? When I was a kid, I was a Dolphins fan first, and then a Lions fan. You were a Dolphins fan first. Yeah. What inspired that? I really, I, I, fellow I, Dan. I really like Dan Marino. <laughs> I really, dude. <laughs> As a little kid, like I'd play like pickup football and I'd throw like sidearm like him and stuff. I'd wear his yeah, jersey. The old sidearm sling. Yeah. I didn't play like him, but I tried. And we were just so lucky in Michigan on CBS, like we we would get like fifty percent of their games. So I would always watch them. Interesting. Ooh. Good eats right there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I'm I want to find the macro for you and be like, hey, good eats right there. <laughs> I can't wait. It's gonna be magical. What was your face like when you saw the macro? Were you like, do you oh, not realize what it was? No, I definitely realized. I was so excited. <laughs> I would say that my my face upon losing it was infinitely more descriptive, though. <laughs> Did you let it fly a little bit? Obscenities. Um, most certainly. <laughs> and to the point where I, I, said, I specifically said, well, we're going to have to switch gears a little bit coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that happens, man. Like, the Tarkov stings a little bit. It. Yeah. That's the thing, though. And I feel like I've always been this kind of gamer. Uh, I'm in it, you know? Like, I'm not... If I'm playing, I'm not going through the motions. You're like, all in. Even, even if... Even if I'm sitting here, like, very deeply talking to chat um, and having, like, a nice back and forth, uh, if something happens in game that, you know, is either really good or really bad, I'm reacting to it. I definitely wear those emotions uh, on the sleeve, for sure, so. I know where you got that Can't from. I know where you got that from. Where is that? Growing up watching the passion on the sidelines of Florida Gators. Or head coach, just... <laughs> I mean, I know you've seen it. One of my favorite all-time meme photos, though, is Urban Meyer sitting in the tunnel after the championship game eating a slice of pizza just dejected. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, I'm not... It's not because I'm like, I want him to lose, but there's just something about that photo. Like, you feel it, you know? Like, yep. we've all been Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's palpable. Yeah. All right, so what's... Dude, we got 11 spots to hit, or what's our first one for LedX? They're they're all in resort. Just there are uh, many doors, huh. many keys, many doors. I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to hitting cottages again on the way. Yeah, I let let some of let the the <laughs> air strikes calm down briefly before we head over there. <laughs> Red duffels are uh, our distinct target for the Mackies. Oh, really? Okay. Indeed. Um, is a one oh eight. Oh, you hear steps in the blue one. Steps. That is a definitely a gamer. Go get him. Oh, what was that metal slide? It was him coming through the two. It's a scav. He did the slide and then he checked oh. his mag there. He ran just ran out the back. Red coat. Okay. Um, I need in between scav kills the here. two areas here, um, like the fence is down. Mm -hmm. And so when they go over that, that's that's the metal. Oh, okay. Actually. I just stepped. Okay. Yeah, I need a I need some scav kills with this gun. Oh, the ACAM variant. Yeah. Okay, he's coming back. Bye. He's in the main road. I'm gonna meet him out front. Road, you said? 
Yeah, he ran out the front side of the other cottage. You know, I crossed over the metal and then I saw yep. him. I couldn't catch Coming up to your him. Way right now. I'm in the uh, the red like you. shed. Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. But he's somewhere. He ran out that couple of things oh. here. You scared me with that slide. <laughs> couple of things. Couple of things. Oh, you don't need that. No. I, I haven't seen oh, one of these all raid. Right. Thank you. Or all season. I've not seen a cat. That's I I had a hard time getting it. That that is uh, used for a task. If you wanna hang, hang on to her. Okay. Thank you. A nice shot. Sorry. Should no, 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 that, no, no. No. Protect first. No key, but I do have it. Do you have this key yet? The cottage? Uh I just picked it up and I can't Oh nice. I I don't know if I should sell it or not. It's going for like two hundred and thirty thousand. It's well, great to have some uh to have access to a couple of um safes that other people don't have access to necessarily though so like big you, value in that yeah i know you're like uh you know you're we talked earlier you're tuned in the economics would you you would hang on to it you think that key will ever be worth more than that or it could no. be now's the peak i think but it, but you could use it and maybe get use it twice you could come out with 300k is that fair it's definitely possible yeah okay you can find bitcoins in these safes, so I mean that one bitcoin is four hundred and seventy k. It's crazy. So, you know, I, I typically think about it like that, but also just for like task items and saving yourself headache. Mm -hmm. it's worth it. Those rarer, less looted uh, safe opportunities are big. Now this safe here requires a different key, but that key's pretty cheap, like fifty k. This one so right here. If you have the cottage key, mm -hmm. I would pick this key up. What is this key called? You know what it's specifically called? Okay, open it up. Cottage safe key. Okay. Look at that. Aptly named. Nothing in this room. No. Huh? On the front of college football mm -hmm. what are your thoughts and feelings on uh the playoff system right now i think a team like coastal carolina needs to be in that because they can catch someone and i think that's exciting and good for college football um i, I don't think four teams is enough i really don't 100 percent agree you know i'm Ride or die for eight team yeah, playoffs. Eight, I don't. You don't need. I think six teams. Like that's a lot of logistics and a lot of extra ball to play. But I think eight. Eight is like you're not gonna have to leave Cincinnati out of the top eight. You know, undefeated. Or the undefeated UFC team from a couple. Or yeah. UCF team from a couple of uh, years ago. You know, it's just. It's a shame that they literally have no shot despite a perfect season. Like, I know. That just feels so awful. And I think eight eight solves the problem. It's no question. It's like, what do you think stopping them? You think it's just the money from the bowl games? Like they just have too much power right now, or I don't know, man. Because like a uh, getting a team like Coastal Carolina in that does, and even if they don't win, but if they get in, like that gives that program a chance to like. I mean, they still get a payday. To actually grow yeah. and like kind of snowball into something bigger than what they're at. Okay. Yeah. Because right now, like I think we see just how. The four-team playoff just kind of like digs everyone heels into the sand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're just kind of stuck where you're at. But and I like pretty to rough. See, I like to see. I do like to see Alabama. I just do. I just feel like they've mastered it. But also, like a a team can get Alabama that is a little bit unconventional. You know what I mean? Co college is crazy. Yeah. College ball with col college age kids and. Uh, like, forget even just, like, the skill disparity. I just think, like, the mental game. Like, yeah, big teams can collapse sometimes when they're caught off guard. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that would be really good for the sport just to uh, to catch that kind of excitement. be dope. Like, Coastal Carolina's offense is, like, a hybrid that really no one runs, you know? So you got to prepare for that. It's not like, you know, you know what Ohio State's going to run. You know what Clemson's going to run. Right. It, it, it yeah. just takes that element out of it. But, but I don't know for how. Sure. 
I just, I, I think we'll see it in our lifetime go to eight. It's just a matter of, yeah, they got to pay the players so. though too, you know. All right. That Pro they do, it, but that's that's coming down the pipe, is it not? Like, yeah. isn't that kind of? I hope so. There's already some legislature involved, if I'm not mistaken. Bam dialed. All right, what are we thinking here? Uh, so starting on this side, uh, 219, 216, 205. Yeah. I like having like a little battle plan like this, you know? Oh, yeah. There's some very satisfying noises in Tarkov. That was one of them. When you stick the key in the hole, just well, someone's been here, huh? Very possible. There are. They could still be here, actually. Oh yeah, next door open. Well, next door over is open. Sometimes yeah, you should probably check that. Directly down the hall. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Are you okay? I'm good for now. I'm still. I have not poked hallway yet. Uh, we gotta. We gotta move. I think. But... Back, back out. It's, it, it might even be a a board, you know. You see, you see. You think it's more than one? It it's oh. just heavily geared and uh, that kind of gear. Uh, just full auto. We don't we don't have the sauce to uh, to engage close. So okay, I think should, we should pre pop. What do over. I do? I think we just jump, get on top of the ledge. We're okay. I'm with you. Alrighty. Nice. I'm gonna double splint here. You got some splints on deck? Um, I have CMS. That'll work, right? CMS will not, <laughs> you, but I got you. All good. You gotta have the big one for the uh, the splint potential as well. It's underneath you. Thank you. Thank you. I saw someone out in the courtyard. Thank you for the splint. I only broke one. Did you break two? Yeah, mine was a mine was a twofer. <laughs> is that just random, or is it based on weight? Uh, I think it. There is a randomness to it, but it is also based on weight. Yes. Okay. Uh, you want your, your split? It could go up and over here. Just okay. be ready. I kind of want to bait him into it. I think we take him. If I'm, he comes I'm up done. and over, we got him. Okay. Want me to dance a little bit or no? Stay put. Do you have a blue laser? I do. Yeah. He's he's gonna come over me. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. Get him. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> he is juiced. Well, I I don't feel good. Why not? Because I'm looking at your slumped over body. You're like, hey, we don't have the. I, his buddy My came. My final vision was you putting him down. <laughs> it was excellent. I feel great about it. Wait. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a firefight, huh? It's it's a lowercase w. I think he was not alone. Um. But it was, you know, I I will just say your intuition. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> your intuition is second to none. And I appreciate that. <laughs> you're like, hey, because I wanted the fight. And you're like, hey, we don't have the guns to take this fight. And I'm like, you know what? That's a logical point of view. And, you know, I didn't like watching you get gunned down. I did. That's like one of the first times, like most of the time I'll laugh. I didn't like that. Cause like you, like you called what was gonna happen. I just wasn't equipped for it. It happens. Yeah, you gotta accept those. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell. I was on um single fire too. I don't know how I killed that guy. Like I was like panicked, just clicking my left mouse button. That was cool. Sometimes it was a those those panic left clicks are a little bit better aimed than a full auto. You know. <laughs> I don't think, you know, and it, and I will say this, it's the Markstrom Prophecy that got the kill because I'm like, eh, I'll just use PS ammo. And then I'm like, nah, let me buy BP. 
And I think that was the difference. That <laughs> for that guy is <laughs> you wouldn't have done anything <laughs> with your PS. That's for sure. Yeah, he was uh, he was an armored guy. But I think that's so cool, man. How like uh, you know how you're so versed in this game where like you knew like that's not the move. You know. Yeah, I think we both get gunned that down there and feel terrible if we try to fight him from that room, right? Yeah. That like that making him take the time to fall gives us a chance. Yeah. Cuz it's I don't even know if he knew there were two of us. You know what I mean? No. Welcome and I tried not subscriber. to make like the footsteps when you were making footsteps cuz <laughs> I really wanted him to jump. <laughs> I wanted him to come on over. I mean, I will say the 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 like you narrated it, then it happened, and then we we got a chance to watch it happen live. It was a, it's a cool clip for sure. You'll be able to put it in uh, your next YouTube video. <laughs> you love, love to see. It. <laughs> um, that's fun though. I, and that's the thing about Tarkov. Like I don't mind losing. Like I, I'm I'm because like we learned from that, but like I don't I don't mind losing in the game because then the wins just feel so much better. You know. Absolutely. Um, what do you want to do? Gotta take some L's. We're gonna get you that lead X, no doubt. Okay. Um, I'm going to equip myself with stuff that I is a little bit different. Okay. Give me a sec. I'm gonna build a new AK so I can get some more scav kills. You got it. Alright, cool. Chat. Uh, dude, I'm like, how did he know? Like, he called it. Were you guys... I'm like, sh not shocked. Guy you blasted is in chat. Wait, what? Um, let me, uh, I'm going to rebuild one of these real quick. Dude, like it was, I don't know if you can see on my face. I was panicked. I'm like, oh, this is a spray. And then we didn't spray. Where's the blue light? Kangaroo OP, was that you? Good fight. Good fight. Were you, you had a, you had a buddy, right? That was you and a buddy. Look, not much, but it's honest work. Dude, don't. Elkan, I love how Elkans have stayed cheap, man. I love that. I love that. You make calls like sometimes don't sell. Oh, I appreciate it. What did, uh, was he buying kangaroo? Were you by yourself or is that your buddy? I should have, man. I should have covered. Oh, it was his buddy. Okay. That was a good battle. What was... I, it'd be interesting to see the coordination, you know? Like, you're like, hey, I'm going to jump. Or did you jump on your own or was it coordinated? Let's buy all these. Can't buy all of them. We're going to have to. Buy 60 stack. 45 stack. What's up, Kilted Kraken? Ah, uh, you just missed a legendary call by Markstrom. It was pretty, it was pretty nice. Um, lost to CMS. That's okay. Should we? Is this gunpowder worth keeping? Let's go. In my opinion, what's the best eats in a bag of Chex Mix? Those brown bagel chips. Not even close. You just jumped yourself. We gotta sell some stuff here. Maybe this will. You can craft BP with that gunpowder. We got. We gotta. We gotta generate some rev here. Okay, keep it. I got you. Just generate a little bit of. Revenue. Sorry, Grok. 
Okay, that should that should get us to the promised land here. We'll put this up for twenty two five ninety six. Hope you guys are enjoying the duos. I know you guys have seen like I'm trying to do uh, more duos. It's just more fun, you know. It's it's more fun. I um, hope you guys are enjoying it. Weapon parts. What do we need? Let's let's focus on what we need. We need more ammo. Let's buy a little look. It's not much, but it's honest work. Buck twenty. That's really cheap ammo. Markstrom's gonna be disappointed. Don't don't tell him. All right, but look, it's it's tough times at Ridgemont High right now. Should we bring one of these with us? <laughs> All hat, no cattle. All hat, no cattle. We're bringing it. We got a laser. All we need is some meds. We got our meds. We got a TFAC. Helmet and face covering. Could be a little bit of an issue here. We, um... We're lacking some monies. I know PS ammo, it's all we got right now, man. We need we need to raise some funds here. Let's do it. Let's just do it the only way we know how. Click fast, forehead. We're gonna have to sell some guns. Sell that. That's good. That'll get us going a little bit. That should get us a helmet, hopefully. A soup bowl and a pair of cheap contacts. Perfect. We have a quest to claim. Peacekeepy. Ragman. Do ever run reserve? Rarely. There we go. That feels good. <gasps> Yo. Ruples. And an AS Val for VSS hallway one of these days. That was that was a good payday, man. That was a good payday. Alright, let's put these on. Not make Markstrom wait any longer. Good, good, good. We're here for the loot. Yo. Yes, sir. How's your loadout? Spicier than I've used all white. Okay. I just wanted you to know that I'm coming in with the all hat, no cattle gun. Or actually loadout. Excuse me? All hat, no cattle. The cowboy helmet of sort. You know, I've, I've got the one, you know, the second biggest backpack that I own with a bunch of other not good stuff. I'm just coming to just soak up the, the loot. Just, yeah, yeah just, so, just soaking up the loot. What are you eating? Ravioli. Oh, is that part of the, the bulk? <laughs> I will have you know that this is from an organization called Clean Eats. Oh. These are pre-prepared meals, Dan, under 500 calories. Okay, so get off my back. Is it part? Of, I'm just at, Is it part of the bulk? <laughs> it's toxic, Dan. That's no, toxic. like it could be like high protein raviolis or something, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people, in all fairness, most people eating raviolis are definitely bulking. Yeah, okay. I can confirm. Um, 
Now I'm slowly making the transition. I got like, I, I, you know, I, I like, Let's I don't like go. to do everything at once. You know, I, I think a lot of people struggle with consistency or just their general uh, self, um, self control when they try and do it all at once. So like, I over the last month I've reintroduced intermittent fasting and I've also taken out most sugar. Okay. And so now like moving into February first, I'll be calorie counting. Okay. So. You, so. So you're bulk, you're bulking while you can. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get in as many raviolis before the long summer. Yeah, Dan. Did you take that as BM when I asked? You did. That's okay. I knew better because of who I'm talking to, but it was funny that it definitely came <laughs> off as BM. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm in the lobby as you are blowed. On my, <laughs> on my way. <laughs> I will say this rat. What are they meat or cheese? What do you got in the ravi? Both. Okay. Cause like I was at the store the other day, the grocery store and I bought these pancakes and they're like just protein. So I'm like, Kodiak. yeah, I'm like, Oh, we got Kodiak all up in our house. Yes, sir. So I'm like, if they can do that with pancakes, there can be protein ravioli protein and everything. Yeah, okay. for sure. They make relatively unoffensive protein powder these days, so they just slide it in everywhere. <laughs> I saw some great Tarkov names. Tell me which one. Oh, I think the other one went away. Um, but give me a, a Tarkov name rating. Zero to ten. Ten being one of the best of all time. Sure. Dr. Head Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Where I come from, we call that a banger. Okay. Yeah. There was another really, really good one, but it skipped away from it. Do you see me or are you you're loading in? I'm on size. Oh no, it's Healing, all good. eating, drinking. It's all good. You gotta get all the pieces of the puzzle to fit right. <sighs> if I got you're you. gonna make the most of your setup, you know? I got you. So you you're going in with one piece of skew. So you, um, so do you have, you have like meal prep delivered to you? Uh, Alexander picks it up. Sometimes we do the delivery one. It kind of depends. It depends how often she's not working from home and which is variable, uh, because she's a graphic designer. So sometimes she works from home. Sometimes she goes to the office, that kind of thing. I want to ask you about that before that all of your outfits today, they've all been matching the gray of the vector. Matches the gray of your vest, matches the mask, matches the helmet. Honestly, uh, that a accidental? lot of people don't know. A lot of people uh, don't pay enough mind uh, to the to the fashion damage multipliers. I love it, man. I am like, I, I aspire one day to play Tarkov Fashion Souls, you know? Absolutely. We're going to do a yeah. prop bet on this one. Will Markstrom okay. and I both survive this raid that's a prop bet that's what i called you do betting on your or, um predicting on your side i don't though i've seen it plenty yeah wait so did um did they have too much power with uh channel points <laughs> yeah. to allow them to really heavily accrue it here um you know with like them being able to inject mp3s and whatnot into oh the stream, so. Yeah, I can't. Unfortunately, I can't give them the ability to win big. How do they Otherwise, inject? It's going to end poorly for me. How do they inject MP3s in your stream? Some custom sauce. <laughs> oh, custom sauce. Um, do your significant other do your logo design? Uh, she did not do the Raven logo, but she did the Marshmallow one. Oh. Yep. 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 Yeah, she uh, she does a lot of like logos and branding, so. That's cool. What um? What's the? I don't think I've ever asked you. What's the story behind the Raven? Just uh, like it. I wanted something that at least mildly made sense with the name Markstrom. So and something that I like. Okay. Um, Markstrom is a very uh, Scandinavian name, mm -hmm. and so I went with some Scandinavian lore. So I went with the uh, you know the Hugging and Munnin Ravens of Odin. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Could you uh, catch, they're, they're catch me up to speed? Ravens are big in in uh, Scandinavian culture. Like, uh, 
Norse mythology and whatnot. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are they a symbol of? Dominance? Um, foresight, actually, I think, but... Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, that last clip put that on chapter two. What is the raven? Foresight. See clip. Hey, I think we should get out of here. Let's jump off. Hey, it would be great if this guy jumps off and we pump him. <laughs> I'd like, you know, because I'm, I'm looking at your logo right now in the Discord. I really like it. It's very well designed. And like, I like the color scheme too, because it has a primary and a secondary that goes really well together plus black i appreciate that it's really nice yeah it, it, there was a lot of uh to do when when trying to do this like uh rebrand whenever it happened um it was a lot that is not the original martian logo that's for sure would it what would the original one still be on the googles oh yeah absolutely Let's see if i can um, find it well don't don't it, don't describe it to you i want to see if i can uh let me see if sure. I, I'm going to look for it right now. Arkstrom PTV images. Hmm. Okay. Only seeing Ravens. I'm seeing the hockey player. Yeah. You probably get that a lot. Get you. Oh, I really yeah. like that your YouTube logo with the, like the green, uh, green circle behind it. Oh, thanks. Oh, I think I found it. Let me share it with chat. Oh, yeah. I, I see where you would maybe see it on a t-shirt. You versus the logo she told you about. The M with the headphones. There it is. Yeah. Any uh, official Twitch merchandise. That was a uh, that was a good one. That was cool when they used to run that. Yeah, I remember those. No, yeah, that was uh, Teespring had that like partnership, but... I, dude, I really like your YouTube logo. It's like, uh, I mean, it's not a sun or a moon, but it just looks really nice. Thanks. You do much on There's Facebook? A... No. No. I don't. Um, I did. I used to like at least like um, upload everything I uploaded on Twitter to the Facebook, but mm -hmm. uh, I quit doing that quite some time ago. We are dropping some uh, daily social content this starting this week actually on what on platform daily, i've been on the daily youtube grind for a long time now but yeah daily how's, social content how's that been going uh the youtube stuff youtube's been great constantly um juicing if you will are you doing the edits um, i'm not doing edits no. oh okay is that new or have you never done the edits you used I to do edits, the edits yeah. once upon a time yep um since doing the daily stuff not at all that was really the biggest thing is like, especially like, I mean, for a couple of months now, we're putting in almost like 10 hours of stream time a day. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot, but it's been good. And that is only because I'm not doing the edits. Yeah. You know, um, it's a lot off the plate. It feels great. And uh, I'm super lucky to have uh, my best buddy is my editor. So, oh, like real life like, or you met him online? Met him online, now real life. <laughs> okay. He was he was one of the first viewers of the channel, actually. But now he's uh, he's going to be my best man at my wedding. Coming up Yo. So, yeah. C can you tell me his Twitch name? Yes. Uh, Slum Lord X. Yeah. He says, I'm not crying. I see him. <laughs> he's in there. <laughs> That's cool, man. How did that happen? Uh... Well, he's super talented. It, he does like uh, videography, oh. so he does a lot of editing. Behind the house. Yep. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna be pushing hard here. Okay, I gotta heal. I'm toasted. I don't know if he's behind the house, but that direction. Sorry. Bagged him up a little bit, pushing him now. He's pretty far back behind now. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, you. I'm down, brother. Shoot. That's unlucky. I was baited. Sorry, I couldn't have helped, man. That's all good. What do you think I should do? Um, I mean, you're good to re-engage. They're going to be... I don't know if they realize there's two. 
that really just depends on that. If you think that they're going to be looting that body, my body's kind of up on the hill from you, so you might be able to see them just like deep in the pockets. They're pretty, probably pretty pogged over that gear. Thank you. Can we please get some dang pack spam in the chat? Can't find your gear. Where were you in re relation to the, the, uh, the drone? So I was, I was caddy corner of the house from you. Oh. Shoot, trouble. <laughs> Welcome, brand new subscriber. <laughs> Why would anyone play Escape from Tarkov? If you're looking for a thrilling shooter with loot permanence that can deliver some of the most exciting and intense experiences in gaming, then Escape from Tarkov is the game for you. Fight your way to the exit through both other players and AI to escape with your loot or risk losing it all to someone looking to take it from you. The gunplay is very dialed in, the loot halls are like none other, and the stakes are always high. I'm back. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> nice. did, uh, Welcome back. What kind of gun did they have on you? Uh, sorry, say again. What kind of gun did they have on you? Or roughly, was it wasn't a was it a bolt action? Well, there was a bolt action that you got tagged by, and I saw that guy. So, um, with my vector, I tagged him up a little bit, and then I pushed him so I could get in close. But yeah. he had a second. He had a friend that mm -hmm. was like in a bush, basically, and just he came up behind me with. Uh, I would say it was like some sort of like Vepper one three six kind of deal. Got something it. Like that. So that I mean. That's the only way they get you. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, we just had no indication that there was more than one until it was much too late for me. So it's all good. It happens. I hope they enjoy the sauce. It was definitely good eats there for them. So. I'm just I'm like, I, I just get bummed like in that scenario because like I provided zero value. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind yeah, dying if you we, like. I mean, we're on a stroll yeah. where you don't often like I didn't expect to like necessarily have contact right there. And mm -hmm. you got tagged right from the get. And you, your right play is just to instantly like get get situated and get healed. Right. Because mm -hmm. so their attention's on you to begin with. So that allows me all the time necessary by just literally living there. Uh, you're allowing me to make a move. Because if they put you down, then I'm in a way tighter spot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, I got you. All right. What are you feeling? We're running the back and getting her situated. Where can I get a cheap uh, AKM? Flea market, you think? Good time. Uh, I, I have one sitting in my stash. All right. Are you, do you need it? No, not at all. Okay. I would appreciate that. I'm, I, I'm gonna, yours. I'm gonna spend my last thirty six. And as long if you had it readily available, and you're, as long as you're not actually buying one, I'm okay with that. There's now, one in my inventory right now, Dan. Okay, I will buy the mags and the bullets, and I will meet you in. Um, but no, I mean like, uh, so in that scenario, I'd tell you what I did, and then tell me what to do different. So I got shot, and then I just blind fired in that area to kind of like let them think I knew that I knew where they were. I didn't really know. Mm -hmm. And then I got behind the house. Should I have, what should, should I have not got behind the house? I got to take cover. So yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. Like, uh, living is a strategy that like, I know that that sounds silly, but like, that's a, like a super, like, it's actually a 
relatively high tier play when it comes to like CS or Valorant when you get pushed, just like being able to live so that you can like try and do something together mm -hmm. and take that attention off of you is like literally the difference between winning a round and losing a round. So it's important. Okay. You gotta do it. I just like for me, I feel like it doesn't always feel good. Yeah. You know, I, I understand, trust me, I get it, but but I feel like you're going in and I'm like sitting here healing. I'm like, man, I, I should be helping I had you to go in in that situation though, yeah. only because the capabilities of my gun, I have a gun that's made for the resort, not for these open fields. Right. Yeah. So like, if you want to hindsight it a little bit, we should have path probably a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. Um, that would have been smarter if I would have gave it a wider breach around the edge of that hill rather than exposing to like the big open area in the center field there that was probably the misplay if you will yeah i don't know but for me i just like what if, if if i got a buddy in the fight i don't want to like sit back you know even though that sounds yeah, like that was the you. right move that's dark that's dark huh? I am. What's your stance on nades in the game? Uh, I I prefer to use them when I have a teammate because they can hold an angle while I nade somebody, right? So like you want to nade them out from behind cover without the threat of being peeked. So like if your buddy holds the angle, they're not going to be able to pop out and kill you while you're throwing the grenade, hopefully, mm -hmm. right? The, the issue is if you're solo, then all of a sudden that can easily happen and often happens to people like they'll go to throw a grenade and they just get killed mid throw. Oh, uh, I got you. Okay. So when you have a friend, they can they can just hold it and then they can shoot when the person has to relocate or the grenade gets them, you know? I, so I think it's, yeah, it's much better in like a squad scenario. So as solo, I don't run them often. I have been a little bit lately because I have the task. Oh, how many you, how many kills do you have to get? I think 10. 10 with nades. <laughs> it's pretty wild, man. That's uh that's some serious business. I'm just getting a backpack then I'll be ready. Chat. I I know I I believe him. I do believe him. But it I felt like we let him down there. You know? I feel like that was a heavy letdown. Um, that should be enough to buy a backpack. I feel like we've been up and down the Tarkov roller coaster more often than not. No, let's go all in. Let's go. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I'm back. Yo, Kilted Kraken, thanks for the nine months of Prime. Slumlord X, thanks for the two months. Almost back in there. No worries, no worries. And the five gifted subs, appreciate it. Can we get some Dan Pax back about in the chat, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, how... Slumlord became went from oh, yeah, viewer yeah. to like your best man. Um, he, I, it's just one of those things where like you, uh, you just find somebody that you really jive with, and I like he realized that obviously way sooner than I did because I'm the streamer and he's like watching, right? But mm -hmm. um, you know, he's he's there every day all day his brother was one like was also there and they were like one of my first two mods and then we started to play the games together and then like that's the guy that i'm playing with all the time on stream mm -hmm. that's the guy i'm talking to every day and you know i i think you definitely know like how like the people that you talk to daily even if it's through the internet end up knowing way more about you than like your IRL friends you talk to every few weeks. Yeah. You know, or like don't see it all currently. <laughs> yeah. So um Yeah, this is pretty natural. That's cool. I think like uh, almost all the guys in my wedding I've actually met through stream or cl close to almost mm -hmm. all of them. 
When is your wedding? It was supposed to be the other day. <laughs> uh, but obviously, because uh, of COVID, we pushed it back a year. So Okay. Yeah. Next year in January. January. Okay. Yeah. When did you make the call, like, to not do it? A while ago. Yeah. Yeah. It was, a, you know, I think it was a lot easier of a call for me than it was for Alexander, probably. Yeah. Um, Understandably. Definitely understandably. Uh, so uh, it's, it's disappointing, but uh, I think she feels a lot better about it than making that call now and just knows that it'll be great when it occurs and everyone will have a much better time as a result. <laughs> yeah, I feel like in that boat, like, because I've had people that I know have done it two ways either some people just do it and then it's super small. You know what right. I mean? And just yep. go with it. And the other people are just like, all right, hey, we'll wait. But it's the people that are that are in between that seem to be having like the not best time because right. they're like, yes. wait and see. And you're like, well. It's hard on everyone yeah. involved that way. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, Alexandra is the kind of girl who doesn't want to, she doesn't want to make any compromises on the front of her day. And I, uh, I respect that. And I think if that's that's the way she wants her wedding, then we'll have to push it off a little bit, and it'll be great when it happens. So, but uh, the weekend that we were supposed to get married, we we went uh, away to a nice little getaway. I little saw cabin. you post something. Yeah, it's dope. It's really dope. I saw that, the caption. Uh, I'm like, is that like I felt like you were out somewhere, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, that was like the view from our like little mini. Um, it's like they're like little tiny homes, you know. What I'm, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like everything small inside. Um, but it's cool. It's it was uh, this is not a promotion. Um, like a company <laughs> called Getaway was on uh, Shark Tank a while uh -huh. ago, and we were just like watching old Shark Tank episodes, and we saw it, and we're like, I wonder if there's you know stuff near us. Uh, cause they try and put it like an hour, hour and a half outside of a city. Um, so that people, that's like a, not a long commute, mm -hmm. but like a nice weekend, nice little two dayer. And, uh, that's exactly what we did. It was really nice. Brought the dogs and, uh, you know, just went hiking and hung out. It was good. That's awesome, man. Unplugged a bit. So. Yeah. I saw the picture. I'm like, man, that looked amazing. Cause it was like a huge window from what I remember yeah. seeing. Yep. Yep. So right they on the lakefront. It's cool. So they erected that, like, was it like a little, um, area? They have wheels on them. Like you can tell, like, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're technically big trailers to an extent. Yeah. You know? Like that's how they, that's how they distribute them across the U S. Do you care if I show it on my stream? No, go ahead, please. Oh, you didn't respond to my comment. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't. I remember this now. You didn't respond to my comment. Damn it, Dan. You know, I honestly probably haven't been on Instagram since I uh, posted it. You want to? That's no joke because I don't. I really don't. For the most part. You want to guess what my comment said? Well, is it about Urban Meyer by chance? <laughs> <laughs> so you post this this very relaxing, like scenic photo overlooking like this body of water <laughs> and then the comment is i bet that's where urban stayed <laughs> now i get why you didn't respond now you know here i got a response for you <sighs> all right post <laughs> thumbs down okay <laughs> Fair enough. All right. I'm ready to roll. Okay. I'm waiting for you in the, uh, the lobby. With my hatchet. This is really not a good looking um, rig. Not a good looking rig. Uh, the one that I have on right now. Oh, you're not pleased with your aesthetics not at all i mean 
It's like the it's like it's like Danny default. It's not much, but it, it's honest work, I guess you could say. Um, do you see me in there or no? I'm being slow right now. Oh, it's all good. Have we dipped our chip today? So let's not put that in the ether. Let's not put it in the ether. So you talk about like, uh, you have like the sauce that people can play. Um, yeah. Can play MP3s. Like what kind of MP3s will get shoved through to your production? Uh, it's really, it's what it's basically any sound that I, that I want to throw up there. But, uh, right now it's not the smoothest process in the world, um, to update them. So they don't get updated super often. Um, but we're working on it. We're working on it. How um, do you, how do you not get DMCA'd? So it's not like it's music. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Like these are, these are like free accessible sounds for the most part. Usually they're like memes, you know, it's just like you drop them the bro. Um, Bruh. I think it just depends on, on what it is right now. Uh, like ones that have been popped today is like a dude laughing or a dude like knocking on the door saying, uh, you know, FBI open up and just like people basically, they try and time it in a way that is clever. <laughs> uh, and it's fun. It's a fun way for them to interact. That's cool. And they, they turn in their, um, Markstrom bucks for it. Yeah. I might, uh, there might be something for you on that front in a couple of weeks. Just as a heads up. Oh, okay. If you're so titillated. I am so. Cool. <clears throat> um, I really, now that I'm looking at my character, mm -hmm. like I get that it's level four armor, but it's almost mm -hmm. not worth how rough it looks. <laughs> I mean, like it's it's modeled nicely in the game, but it just is aesthetically like aesthetically sub packa or, or or you know. I think than Paca. I think Paca looks nice compared to this. This looks like I'm oh, wearing no. like a you know like a pillow sack, and you cut out like a, a neck hole and a couple armholes. Like the last minute Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a costume party, by the way. Oh. Hold and then. Up. And then the helmet, you know, it's, I, I aspire one day to just have like nothing but just 10 out of 10. I don't even care if it has like good protection, but just looks yeah. good. I respect it, man. The Tarkov drip. So outside of Tarkov, you've been playing anything, anything on, on your, uh, horizon? Uh, you know, not too much. I am still doing like Valorant every now and again mm -hmm. um path of exile poe is on the horizon as you see um yeah there's been there's been a push for it uh, tomorrow my like my docket is open oh. like i got nothing planned for tomorrow and it's a friday so i'm really thinking about trying to pull something interesting out the pocket at the back pocket here so Okay. We'll see. I'm not sure what it what what, what it'll be. Um, that eco game looks kind of interesting. I have some friends playing that. I don't know if you've seen any of that. Yeah, I watched like 10 seconds here and there. It's like um, yeah. advanced Minecraft. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Are you a Diablo but, guy? Have you played Diablo? Yeah. So I played like D2 way back when, and and also have revisited and tried D3. I, I like the ARPGs. Um, <laughs> I don't. I still question their viability from a stream perspective. Um, uh, POE or Di like, Diablo? Either. Okay. Anything in the, the genre in general. Like, I understand that, like, some people do very well in the niche, but, like, how to introduce that genre or format visually uh, or just, like, a game that, like, that, that it's that deep but it's not as obvious as Tarkov is like, you know, like Tarkov's obviously plenty deep, but you can tell like, okay, your, your character is either killing people or he's getting killed. And it's like a first person shooter. Nobody doesn't understand that. But when a new viewer looks at an RPG, you know, are they able to 
grasp like what is value what is not value what's a good thing what's a bad thing like that kind of thing i think that that's what like sucks play or sucks viewers in and they they want to watch that's what entertains them and yeah. uh when i see I don't know, man i just i don't know that i know enough about that genre to make it entertaining mm. does that make sense yeah like sometimes so. i'll like pull up like a poe streamer and it looks like just marbles on the screen and i don't understand right and you just you have no idea what you're looking at right yeah. so it it presents a challenge definitely from a broadcaster's perspective i think a fun way to do it is to get in with someone who really knows what they're doing and just have it have them sherpa you know oh speaking of sherpa thank you very much feels nice cool glad to hear it Oh, you put a blue laser on it, dude. Lasered up, bud. Oh. I mean, this is now the th third raid for you. No backpack. I'm sensing. I'm sensing something here. There's a scab dead ahead if you needed scab kills. Yeah. Why no backpack? You, you'll pick one up or you just don't want it? If there's a guy with enough juice, he'll probably also bring me a backpack. Do you need a fire Jason. steal or cap? Dead ahead right there around the corner. He's looking at you, Dan. Sorry. Put him down, buddy. I, I want to make sure that wasn't you. Do you I need do a... need a fire steal, yeah. Okay, I got one. Let me, uh... Oh, wow. You sure you don't want to hang on to that? 100%. I, I may never even get to the point where I need it. I think you do. I think this is your wipe, Dan. Yeah, take this just in case. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> <laughs> gonna push him it's got to be found in raids so either we're we're coming out of this together or we're not <laughs> that shot that he threw just now before you killed him um blacked out my stomach <laughs> i got some news for you he's still alive uh, okay <laughs> i was betting i was betting on you there I heard no more gunfire. I'm just healing real quick. I'm really not this bad at Tarkov. What's no, up? you're not. This I, I just told you you're going to get cap of this wipe. And I won't even mention that part of that is because this wipe's going to be another eight months. <laughs> He's wrapping the fart. There. there we go. Bam. I'll tell you, man. It's like, I think, that, I think that's one of the draws of uh, why people watch is because like it's sometimes I'll hit a shot and you'd be like, he didn't hit that. And then sometimes you watch and be like, he did a complete outline of the scav when bullets. And it's like literally 10 seconds apart. That's yeah, okay. I mean, uh... it happens, huh? The variability is a good thing. It's a good thing. And I don't want to be that guy, but do you have a um extra what splint? You, you need, uh, of course. I was just gonna say <laughs> before you asked about the splint, when you said I don't want to be that guy. I was about to hit you with the old Tim the Tap Man is literally that guy. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tuned in to No, no, podcast, what is, uh, I mean, I know who he is. I've... Oi, oi, Dan, behind. Yeah. Right where we came from. Player? Could be. Yeah, it's aggressive. There's another guy uh, the other way, too. Oh, God, I threw a, I threw a nade. We're dead. Are you, are you alive? There's a second guy. Chad, is he alive? happen <laughs> I've what happened? down bud so I got them both you got them both 
Yeah, but I died. How did you die? Um, remember those things I talked about wanting change in the game? Okay, so it wasn't my nade that killed you. No. Okay. All right. Nope. Okay. No, no, no. Your your nade was good. I appreciate the call out. I got over a spot. We're good to go. So okay, so you took him down. It was there just desync? Yeah, her horrific. Yeah, really so you <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to laugh. But so you took them both out, and then what happened? Oh, you know, I died like a few seconds later. But <laughs> I, I, I put a full mag into him. He put a full mag into me. We weren't even, like, he wasn't even looking at me. Uh, yeah, and then we watched, as I died, I watched him fall over, and it was, it was kaput. <laughs> <laughs> I might have thrown out a Nikita quote right after it. <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta, uh, I know. I feel like we just need to get into a raid. <laughs> You know? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not re-saucing. <laughs> no, you want to do a scab? Not in the state of... Uh, yeah, we can do a scab. We could absolutely do a scab. I just s mean, like, uh, I think my next PMC raid will be light, lighter. Yeah. Lighter <laughs> than the heaviest kit possible. Let's. You want to go scab customs? Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. I'll meet you That's there. And, I found my Mackie. And while you're doing that, I'm going to pull up the clip. Chat's telling me to watch your clip. Um, yep. So if you guys want to spam it on my side so I can watch it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Give me, I'm gonna give me a second. I'm gonna pull it up right now. Okay, so I'm watching your clip. Yo. Okay. Right, got you full screen. Here we go. Yeah. Give me, give me a Dan play by play. Okay. I'd love to hear so, like, your thoughts if you watch. So here's. Let me just paint the picture. I see. Uh, did you watch Game of Thrones? Uh, of course. Okay, I got Clegane vision right off the bat. AK, <laughs> you've, you've got nothing but a red circle around the frame of your screen. Okay. There's a second guy. Yep. Okay, well, you got your calm. I like it. Um, reload. Nice, nice. Not, dude. Whenever I watch, whenever I watch clips or YouTube videos on stream, it's like, there we go. I gotta make them smaller. Okay, here we go. Pre fire, pre fire. Nice, nice. Drop them. Wait. Definitely wait. Um, <laughs> I've noticed you processing some extra oxygen, thinking about it. <laughs> Best net code we've ever had. <laughs> what did it? It sounded like a bolt action got you, but that wasn't the case. There was a scab shooting elsewhere, like okay. to my back right, I believe. Okay. Um. But yeah, the guy, the guy in front of me definitely is the guy that killed me because you can see him pour a full mag where I was mm -hmm. and also apparently where the server thinks I was. Okay. And I, yeah, yeah. And who knows where he actually was according to the server while I poured my full mag into him while he wasn't looking at me. Got it. Yeah. Player? Okay, so I'm just glad you didn't see. Could be. <laughs> I, and al also, while like I was crouched behind the um yeah, the aggressive. thing, like There's I must have tried to reload so many times. Like I'm just spamming. Yeah, it's aggressive. There's another guy uh, the other way too. <laughs> oh, no. Big old button threw, threw smash. We're trying to get that reload off. So, dude. So I'm just glad. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's aggressive. I went to the There's right, the guy, uh, the I other, saw the guy, the and I threw a nade <laughs> off the back side of the building we were behind on our side. So like, It went far, it, like, it bounced <laughs> far enough away to not get it. Dead. I was just kind of hoping that you didn't see it, or, you know, because I was really concerned that that was what was going to kill you. Nah, we were we were good. You said grenade, and I realized that like I heard a grenade, but I wasn't worried about like, because based on where I hear it falls, basically determines whether I th I'm trying to think about moving. Nah, you yeeted it off the backboard. We're good, dude. It I, ended up on the other court. I already see my YouTube video is 
highlights from playing with Markstrom. I mean, we got some great moments, man. Great <laughs> moments off the bat. There's no doubt. We're definitely going to be throwing to your... Uh, that's a slick uh, face zoom in. I like that. We're going to definitely throw to that in the video um, with your reaction. And maybe put it when you say best net code in the game, maybe put a Keck W guy to the left of your face. I like it. It's good. Yo, I, oh, I called the nade. During the, uh, one of the other segments for our 24 hour, we had, um, we had people draw me, like characterize me. Uh -huh. Um, and the best ones as selected by, uh, one of the mods, uh, won an EOD oh. copy of the game. And so they had like a couple of hours to work on it and they could like, you know, it has to be like, obviously so, like the mod put out that I need to be like somewhat memey. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can use like paint or you could use something that was a little bit, you know, nicer if you have those, those skills. And uh, <laughs> this guy like amalgamated my face with the Keck W guy into like yeah he like anamorphed us into one uh, how can and one see that awesome um man but i just they google it he made like a nah markstrom keck w up. i don't think that'll do it. <laughs> i don't think that'll do it uh he had them sent to like a special email that he made for this event mm -hmm. um but I kind of want to. I kind of want to figure out a, a way to like get them all together in one place for people to enjoy because they were incredible. I mean, I can see it in my head. I don't believe the quality of it. Yeah. Like I, like I can see it, and I'm like, if it looks like I think it does, it probably belongs in a museum. It's excellent. It definitely belongs in a museum. It actually did not win, unfortunately. It, the Keck W didn't win. It did not win. What no. won? There were some excellent. Uh, There's some excellent characters are you in a fight already or no i'm loading in with you okay are you in the map already i am what server do you plan do you do auto i don't no you... i select them okay. specifically um though i assume our, my server choice this should be pretty nice for you you have fiber i do oh. I mean, google fiber too oh use so your base, you're, pl you're plugged right in. I like the thing. So, what's your um? What do you upload at Twitch at? Uh, eighty five hundred the cap. Th and that's the cap, huh? Yeah. I am near uh, Rashala yeah, gas station. I think I'm running at you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Dude, so you can. I mean, you're basically you can touch the internet. I can definitely smell it. So like if you download something, a new game, like a triple A title, I, 30 I do seconds. It live typically, yeah. Like yeah. while I stream and stuff. Do you stream at Which 900? Super convenient because yeah. we can just do whatever. Uh, I'm Canadian HD, 1008. Okay. Oh, nice shot. He baited me. He actually didn't, I didn't drop him. He proned. So you have the blue backpack. Do I have any distinguishing features? Not really. Yeah, you got a cross. A cross is nice. Okay. Cover you. Just thinking, like we probably gotta put the scavs down in hopes for a for a Mackie. So yeah, yeah. Make us hostile. But okay with it. Yeah, I do the one thousand eight P. Works out nicely. It's made such a difference. I just do nine hundred P because I don't know all the wizardry to get to. 1008 but it does make a huge difference huh i think i think the only wizardry is just like hand typing the dimension since it does it's not like in the drop down but yeah that's but then that requires me to do math to figure out what the other number is besides a thousand right you can google it too that helps <laughs> the google will get you but uh yeah 900 900 is definitely a sweet spot no doubt oh i didn't check my Inventory, you got anything good? No, nah, no sauce. Always make it a point to say deadly refuses to loot these. Oh, I do too. You do? Why? It's my it's it's free real estate. 
Oh, one could look at it like that. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, little repellent. You know what one of my favorite rooms in this entire game is? What's that? Streamer room. Aw, oh, it's so good, right? There's so much juice in there. Oh. Speaking of juice. Hmm. Little monka. Minkus? Sorry. <laughs> huh? <It's... laughs> Both suffice. What's your favorite Tarkov map? Uh, it used to be Woods, but now I don't really know. You don't like the expansion? No. Why not? Uh, they took a map that had no juice on it. So, and pretty defined pathings where you could expect players to have to move to. So, like, the people who were there were there to, they were down to get down. They were down to get down. You mm -hmm. know? They're trying to get down to business PvP. Because uh, there's just nothing to really rat. With, with the expansion, there's tons to rat. Mm. Way more pathings. That's... That's not good. E eating a nade? Take one of those, call me in the morning. Just on the left of this wall in front of you, I think. Okay. Oh, he, he, yeah, he actually wrapped right towards your grenade. Interesting. I'll hold. You're good to bandage for now, I believe. Okay. I think I stopped the bleed. You think he's coming from the direction I'm facing? Uh, he could come either, but I got you. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm good. When you get the opportunity, yeah, come towards me. Uh, Are you hugging the wall? Or are you up in the hill? That's me. You hear me? Uh, yeah, hit that again. Oh, okay. I just move away from that guy. It's like another vector type dealio. Okay. We're ill prepared for that. Uh, I looted the Makarov out of this you, camp. Oh, I thought you said you just red got one. Oh. last time. That's got to be so rare, dude. But you know what? It used to be so common, but you know, like uh, it really has been reduced in the tables, I guess. And I just think, in general, yeah, no, no dice. Um, like I don't see a whole lot of Makarov scabs anymore. We might want to move towards like the new area. Okay. Is there anything that you can uh, accomplish here for like a collection task? Um, I need broken G phone. So I'm guessing. Uh, okay. There's a couple of options there. What's it called? Drawers, right? Filing cabinets. Yeah, it's not terrible. Um, there's also a couple of like. Uh, tech boxes Ooh. i could ha definitely have the sauce i really this wipe i have not been running a lot of scabs because i feel like it doesn't make a ton of progress you know unless it's like dire times like now i really try not to you know and it's for the best too. Yeah. i think you realize that now is like the even just like making basic gains regularly on the PMC add up, especially for like soft skills and stuff like that, they yeah. wouldn't be getting otherwise, or just like general XP. Where are some places here? This is where I don't feel comfortable here. They could be up there, right? In that concrete ledge they and stuff? They could be, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yep. Never feel safe coming through here. I don't think it's super common. I I, I would say it's it's pretty rare that someone's like hanging out up there. If they're going to hang out, it's usually in this little, this guy in front of me, I call the, uh, the Alamo. Mm. <laughs> Do you have a call out for it? I don't. I call it Rashala's house sometimes. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. I like the Alamo though. We're going to go Alamo. I just, yeah. 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 I just like to think of like, uh, 
people defending the Alamo with massive machine guns and huh? like grenade launchers. <laughs> There's a potential teapot room. No dice. You get the scraps Looted. though. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Got a lot of red gunpowder today. Oh, those are pretty uh, high pollutant. Have you have you visited the Alamo? Uh, you know what? San Antone. I have. It's um. Have you? Oh yeah. I came away like that's not what I expected. Not at all. No, not even. It's kind of like from what I remember, it's wedged between like a couple stores or something. There's a lot going on around it. Yeah. For sure. Like a downtown type area. And it's really tiny. <laughs> I wasn't gonna bring it up, Dan. Oh. <laughs> is that like, is that like, uh, is that a sore spot for people? I, just, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, we have some local Texans here that might be a bit offended, but I'll keep it on the chat. I'll let you know. <laughs> Significantly smaller than I expected. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, checking these jackets. Where did you go? Just right outside of that room. Okay. Or extracts. You do the uh, do like the river walk and stuff. The river walk's amazing. I think that's really cool. I'm a big fan. Did you go to Pack South? Oh yeah. Okay. Many years. I wonder if we were there at the same time. Probably. Probably. This last one, I actually brought Popstrom. You did. First convention. Oh yeah. What did he think? Hey, I don't about know it? if it does justice to conventions in general uh it's definitely the more quiet one but the uh it's nice because i don't typically have a, like a lot of, I, I don't have a lot of work to do you yeah know? i don't feel like pressured to be making moves the whole time uh it's definitely a relaxing con but it's nice really good what did he think of it uh yeah he liked it i think he definitely understood that it was like like we walked the convention floor and stuff and uh i just think like back south at least especially now it's just it feels a bit empty inside. yeah i don't i was talking to uh sacro yesterday about this i don't know if uh conventions were ever quite feel the same i don't i don't know like you know like it is there a post covid era of conventions that feel similar i don't know oh it'll be interesting to see how things play out you know but i mean they were like you ever go to pax west i would have loved yeah. to but i've never been oh this is an extract for us or at least me yeah oh. no me too <laughs> um no i've never been to seattle and i would love to go that's like big on my list it just like it was like when you think of that, it was super packed. Like everything. Oh yeah. You wanna go? Pax East are pretty elbow to elbow. You wanna go Dunder Mifflin? It's one heck of a call out. <laughs> it's uh midway. It does look like the Dunder Mifflin <laughs> building. I well, never thought of that. Well, on the second floor, <laughs> on the second floor, you have Michael Scott's office and. There, you know, he's a Midwest oh paper God. supplier, and there's a lot of, you can almost every time pull out paper if you'd like. Sometimes pretty extraordinary things can be <laughs> happening in pretty ordinary looking buildings, Dan. That's right. <laughs> you, you know, I, w I, I don't think I told you this, but Alexander and I were re-watching The Office okay. pretty much on the exact same pace you were. Oh, okay. Uh, and I was keeping up with the tweets. It's funny because we were like... We watched pretty much, like, we watched it pretty aggressively, and I was, I was always surprised that you were right around the same point. Yeah. I, was, I was, like, dance really plowing through the office. Yeah. <laughs> He's binging that for sure. <laughs> it was good, because, like, uh, with my wife, like, uh, you know, we got to watch, like, she's not into, like, super, like, scary stuff, or, you know, it's got to be kind of lighthearted. 
yeah. so that i mean that defines the office so we it, it was definitely we, lighthearted. It was a fun show to watch together it's a good watch for anyone i think a little uh, something for everyone in there have you been in michael scott's office yet i gave it a, <laughs> gave it a peek did you see I the paper comb it oh there's paper there's paper guaranteed no. paper michael scott's midwest regional paper supply company got a root for the underdog did you hear like i did a little bit of lore research like he didn't leave the office they didn't bring him back you know that which i is, did not know that which is mind-boggling you know i thought that when he uh was no longer in like the later seasons mm -hmm. when i thought uh when i saw that happen the first time i was like well, these seasons are going to be trash. <laughs> like, why am I watching this? They're bringing in new characters, and you're like, wait. But I think it was just as good. I it, want to say it was just as good without them, which I didn't expect. Um, I mean, that's a hot I take. I, 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 you think so? I think that's you a think hot. The later seasons are not are not as good. I mean, as I, result? I think generally speaking, most people would say that's a hot take. However, chat's disagreeing with me. Okay. I do think that. The, without spoiling, the ending of The Office is probably the best well-done finale I've oh, ever it, seen in my life. It wraps so well. Yeah. And it was, like, uh, just very satisfying, you know? Incredibly. And I think that's hard to do. Yeah, I think pretty much everyone's disappointed with the way almost every show ends, so <laughs> I hear you. Like... There are very few shows that I'm feeling good about when it wraps up. I think it... Californication comes to mind. It, you, uh, I never saw that, but you like that not. ending? It, it was, yeah, phenomenal. It was one of few that I really enjoyed. You watch Breaking Bad? Also, also definitely in the same vein. Yeah, but that's about it. That Like, when I go deep, that's about... Ma Mad Men is, like, one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it also did well. But I'm trying to remember all the shows I watched, that's a pretty short list. So he, um, I don't, I, can't, I don't want to ruin it for someone, but it's kind of like an avant garde ending. Is that right? Like just kind of for Mad Men. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah it is. Like you got to fill in the blanks kind of type deal. Yep. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I think it can be good. Yeah. It depends on the show though. Uh, what is your other extract? Yeah. Uh, warehouse and crossroads. Okay. All right. So we're probably going back to uh, that warehouse 17. There's a macro in this box. I can tell you right now. Oh yeah. This is the one, huh? Yeah. Big money, big money, big money, big money. This, oh, there's a, don't move. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Macro? There, uh, there was some good juice in there. Uh, maybe we want to check that, um, that scav for a macro. Oh, behind me! I'm down. Uh, sweaty SMG. Be careful. Flip to the action here. Can't hear us. But gain vision. <laughs> Still alive. Hit him nine times, no dice. 
It's a lot of hits. Couldn't make it happen. I was watching. I, I immediately went to the live action cam. <laughs> <laughs> you put some work on him, though. Yeah, I felt good about the effort. That's Tarkov. It is. It's M855 ammo is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Markstrom Prophecy. You, you, yeah, it'll get you every time. You live by the ammo and die by the ammo. Sometimes you definitely die by ammo. What's your um? What's your stream schedule like nowadays? Um, We're doing twice as nice most days. What does that mean? Uh, so 0630, which is our typical start time. We'll do five hours then. Mm-hmm. And then I do a break. And then I go live again at 2 p.m. Eastern for another fiber. Oh, double down. How's that been working? Really good. It actually, um, it feels great to, like, if I'm going to put in that extra stream time, mm -hmm. it's the most efficient way to do it to still be entertaining. Because you need that uh, break. It makes all the difference. Yeah. And uh, it allows me to get a nice little afternoon lift in and, uh, you know. A little pump? A little, little disco pump for stream number two. Do you think you got one more in you? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to go a peacekeeper only run, though. But we can figure it out. Rocking the dollars, huh? Yeah. Um... How do you, let me, let me float this to you. Mm -hmm. What's, I got to get some kills in the office and factory. How do you, yes. do you feel like we would, could have a good strat for that? We just, do we just camp it? Yeah, I think like, uh, the idea is definitely to get up there sooner rather than later. But, um, it's important to note that the stairwells and the bathroom all count. Oh, Okay. So, really just like fighting in that area, you're good to go. Okay. How do you feel about doing that? Absolutely make something happen there. Okay. Uh, I had such a fun time doing uh, factory runs the other day. I needed, I don't remember why I needed it. Oh, cl close range mows and kills. That's <laughs> always a fun one. Um, so, uh so I don't like bring anything other than the Mosin and just blast. <laughs> just crip it and rip it? Yeah. Yeah. I think we call it uh, jousting. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Yeah. We got to we, we need to extract on this one. You know, we just get we don't have to get super greedy, but just like I'm hemorrhaging over here. I hear you. It's never a good feel. Yeah. That's okay. how how is your hideout coming along? I'm a, I have a set like a little goal just as if I can upgrade one thing for every time I play. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. And, and nothing wrong with that. Um, how's, how's that coming <laughs> along? <laughs> so we've done it's it. We've probably not one of the, one of those. Today may not work out, but let me see okay. what I got. I mean. I've been writing down the like the day before. All right, hey, this is what we're trying to collect. Yeah. And I think we are at. Did you know there's an in-game notes system? I didn't know that. If you go to, um, let's see, if you go to character and then tasks, mm -hmm. on the top right there is a notes tab, and you can jot down legitimate notes there. It's quite nice. That's cool. I did not know, but I think it was added kind of quietly. They just slid and, that in uh, there. I think I think it's really nice. That's very nice. Time. Nice work, Nikita. Yep, yep. All right, I'm gonna go. How do you feel about PST GZH ammo? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it, as as a non top tier ammo. It's good. Okay. It's doable. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to go MP5 and... That sounds good. Rip it and rip it. No backpack style. Markstrom nice. style. Well, someone's going to bring that backpack in for you. That's the best part. I love it. All right. 
I am, uh, are you going light load too? For the most part, yes. Yeah. This is the best I can do drip wise. I want you to, I want you to rate my drip as soon as we, uh, come in the lobby whenever you can like, dude. Grabbing some meds. What do you have in your notes in raid, by the way? <laughs> uh, they were items that I was trying to accrue for um, hideout. Mm. There are just so many like early to mid raid now that you got to take notes. It's crazy. Oh, and you could pull the notes up mid raid? Yes. That's, oh. that's, uh, that's where the juice lies. Well, hold on a second. Let me go take some notes then while you load in. Yeah, sounds good. I'm like, oh, that's cool. It's like a text editor in game. No. No, it, no. It's more than that. Yeah. I mean, and I think like uh, it's really good for the average player that doesn't have a chat to yell at them like, hey, you need <laughs> this. Pick that up, dummy. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Six hose, three Xeno, two gauge, one tool. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And then how do you, when you open it in raid, or you just put everything you need in the first line? Uh... You should be able to, uh, you can click on it. You can click on it when you're in. Oh, okay. And then scroll. Got it. Cool. Yes, sir. All right. I'm good. I am also good. All right. Look, I feel confident in factory spawns like you pretty much everyone knows where all the factory spawns are are we mm -hmm. are, so based on where we land we're gonna maybe beeline it to the office and camp or what yeah probably something along those lines we can play inside so i i think like the worst part is i don't like sitting mm -hmm. um <laughs> uh, i don't like sitting in a way so that like people can push you and swing you yeah uh, so if we're in there, we want to be in two spots where we can swing out as they push in. Okay. You just want to vary that hitbox. Uh, now. Rate my drip, please. <laughs> Blueberry out of 10. <laughs> you know, matching. <laughs> you got to give them that. Some nice pops of color in there, you know. Tough times, man. Periwinkle Daniel. <laughs> um, so where is somewhere we where we can uh There's I mean like uh I just mean like kind of around the walls or off to the side so that you can like swing and shoot or even be the guy that like peeks out of the door. Gotcha. You know, into the hall, the I like it. little brrr. Yeah. It makes a big difference if you're that guy. Especially in because two factors go into that especially like net code wise is just um all all factory fights happen so early in the raid that the server is not exactly stable yet mm. and then on on top of that it's all cqc so mm. okay. any close quarters will be slightly dice here so what you're saying is this is the type of map where you want to bring your dvl is that what you're saying <laughs> not quite <laughs> <laughs> so I do honestly like yeah just using bolt actions up close is so satisfying <laughs> it can be yeah it can be incredibly satisfying if you can make it work it feels great chat it is is that hot hot take no hot take tuesday hot take thursday I was this new game Thursday. I take Tuesday. All right, little factory action here. Objective: get a couple PMC kills, <laughs> and then uh, survive the raid. Let's open up a prop. At least edit. a couple. Yeah. You know? 
Will Will Markstrom and I both survive this raid? There's your prop prop bet. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Ah, oh, it's a good one. This is a big time. Up we go. You know the bathrooms is great too. We could, yeah. you know. Did you go all the way up? Or your bathroom. Okay. Keep going. Close it or open? Leave it. Leave it open. Maybe both open here. Yeah. You know? Got a shotgun? Oh, I got net coded. It's okay though. I'm gonna close the door and you're gonna peek out that door. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one, close. He backed up. I, I tagged him, but he backed. He naded. Yeah, he sure did. I didn't hear that nade until I died to it. You, that's what you get. That's what you get. Tell him. Let him know. Have some nice meds on me. If you're looking for some in the pockets. Okay. Just trying to get your stuff back and out of here. Well, don't worry about that. Get yourself situated. Four buying that propotol. Four buying it. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Get out. Eight, three. I think there's a camper. Or a little delayed. But it's always worth checking. Or pre nade.
I don't think that would have done anything. <laughs> Alright, I got your stuff. Got one. Very nicely done. <sighs> very nice, very nice. He paid. Nice, he paid. Nice. You don't shoot down the three-eyed raven. Uh, he absolutely paid. <laughs> <laughs> he did a great job holding the door. Well, he threw a nade. Is that how he got you? We're just we're getting some bad yeah, beats. I got uh, I got ghost naded. <laughs> no, no, no sound. No sound. Is that like a ghost pepper? As, <laughs> it was definitely spicy. It was definitely spicy, Dan. I, I walked out there, and as it exploded, <laughs> you said <laughs> he threw a nade. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Did you hit the zoom in cam after? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I had the uh, the wherewithal at that point. I was shell shocked. <laughs> oh, <man>. oh. <laughs> you got your kill. We Count did. it. We got a kill. How many did you need? Only five more. <laughs> Only five more, bud. Just run that back. You're good. But yeah, no, it, it's really helpful um, to know that you can get it in the other areas because yeah, fight fighting in those offices is not easy, not easy. No, I didn't like that he naded you though. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta let it go down. <laughs> I, I know. I want a raid though where like you live and I die. No, why? Because then at least I'm like, yeah, I did something. Um, you want to run it back? You and I absolutely give you stuff? did something. I, uh, you avenged me. You made it. Listen, he made me sad, and then you made him sad. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend. That goes a long way in a lot of gamers' books, right there. <laughs> I got a friend who uh, who doesn't like Tarkov, and he says Tarkov is you just steal other people's fun, and I'm like, ah, maybe. <laughs> That's a hard yo, maybe. <laughs> um, it does feel that way sometimes. I can give you your stuff back. No, no. What do you mean, no, no? no. What is mine is yours. No, but it's what's yours is yours. <laughs> what's well, mine is 20 million rubles in my stash. <laughs> Not to be worried about. You sure? Never been so positive. <laughs> If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, this is probably... The, I mean, you had 7 and 3 one. This is probably one of the top three loadouts I've had this entire season. It's a good one. It feels nice. What are you feeling? Whatever your heart desires. I mean, I do have this nice CQC loadout. Could, could we, it could it be run anywhere else? It can be ran everywhere that you want to be up close and personal. Um, I'm okay with factory again, if you want to do it. That sounds good. Chat, what do you think? Are we hanging in there? Oh, we had the factory key on us. I didn't think we had the factory key. I feel like we should buy one more mag. No? I think labs. Um, and tippy that Hendron off.
And then we'll bring some some cheap stuff back. You know, what? I'm gonna sell this. We may have to, we may need the monies. Look, it's tough times right now, alright? Hemostat. Protect this. Oh, we got backup ammo. Slide this. Dan. Yes. Have you ever seen Letter Kenny? Ever seen what? The show called Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny? Like L E T T E R? You got it. I have not. Uh, what is it? It is um it is a show about Canadians. Okay. Uh it's Doodles people and I think you would there eh, you would appreciate the word play in that show significantly. <laughs> I, I believe. What kind of play do they word? There, there are some some non uh, little brother appropriate verbiage. There's okay. definitely some of that, yeah. but um, I still feel like you you would you would enjoy at least some of the banter. Okay. Uh, in that show. Does it like have some nonsensical in There's it? A lot of nonsensicalness. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And some of the conversations that they get into really make you think. <laughs> like think in what way? <laughs> like to wrap to wrap your mind around you know everyday situations that you just don't always that aren't always laid out in front of you you know i i understand they they unwrap some things that would oftentimes seem uh apparent but the deep dive it okay stuff Ooh! <laughs> oh, daddy means business. <laughs> there will be no head eyes today. I'm trying says to, the three eyed raven. I'm trying to survive some shrapnel here. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but man. You're, Lord Tachanka. You're coming in for blood. Lord Tachanki. <laughs> Letter Kenny, is it? It's a Canadian show. It's uh, yeah. It okay. was originally on Crackle, and I think Hulu picked it up. It's on Hulu, okay. and uh, it's interesting. It, at least uh, wor worth uh, like a YouTube best moments. Okay, I think that would suffice rather than, rather than watch every episode. But okay. um, it's it's uh, it's good. It's good. You'll see what I mean. All right. You just feel like you have a way with words. Hey. And that uh, a lot of the characters in that, show, in that show do as well. Like a way when you're just like, man, I don't know what they're saying, and I'm not sure I want to know kind of way? It's exactly right. Okay. I got you. <laughs> they got some Danicity going on. Does, uh, does Deadly watch it? Uh, He has, yes. Okay. Is it based in the PEI? <laughs> it's not. Okay. Uh, Trailer Park Boys is way closer to like his area, I believe. That's like right around the corner kind of deal. Trailer Park Boys is Canadian. Oh yeah. I didn't know that. All right, chat. We're gonna open up another prop bet. Will fifty percent of us survive this raid? That seems to be a more fair prop bet. Yeah. All right, here we go. Feeling good. Markstrom just decked out of his gourd with, with just carbon fiber, everything. And we have m another Markstrom set we're wearing. And i um, feeling pretty good about it, you know? Twice drumming. Uh 50% plus. Okay.
I believe they call that in the business as got one. <laughs> Count it. Just wanted to alleviate some early pressure here. You know? Is are the stairwells bugged in this? Like you can sneak up or no? Um No. On a map this Welcome, small brand in the first five to ten minutes, you can do all kinds of things without making sound. Okay. Uh there's uh there's something in the uh in the safe for you. Something on the ground for you. That's what we were missing. We're missing the green sauce. Can we even be teammates without matching armbands? You didn't want the vase? No. Okay. I don't have a two by two. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get out of here? Or do you just want to stay in here? Uh, we can do whichever. I'm going to loot then. Let's let's bring some bees yeah, yeah. to the yard. Hey, get the uh, get your broken G bones. You opened that, right? I did. Okay. Yeah. If you think you hear anyone creeping over there, let me know. Okay. You heard that shotgun blast, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. This guy fighting somebody in room three. the guy he's juiced how do you want to take him out where do you my think he is <laughs> what do you say might be out of our hands <laughs> with my bare hands uh -huh. um he's in room three over here he's a little m would up it sounds like you hear those wood steps yeah, to our right here have this helmet on you're gonna have to be the eyes and ears of this institution i got some wood steps sounds like the base He's, of this yeah 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 for sure hear that mm-hmm Think he's coming up? I'm gonna throw some early shots here, and if I don't get him, I'm gonna. He's never gonna expect your peak. Yeah. Ran away. Yeah, he ran away. And jumped. Yeah, the room to jump over. Okay. The bait, uh, bait something over this way. I check this room real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna breach so he knows where we're at. All the doors are open. Balls in his court. I'm just in the main office. Hmm. What's the number five to six PMCs in this this map? Uh, five only now, I believe. Okay. Well, six, yeah. Let's go. What do you want to do here? Just chill? It seems like that's going to have to either be the play or... Let me give a little eyeball out here on the, on the catwalk. like no company <clears throat> oh, some boxes here central Mackies get them I'll cover you
Oh, nice jump. What? Character didn't think so. He seemed angry about it. Oh, taps left. Coming from bunker. Inside. Above us. Coming down. There's one to your left, be careful. A shot. Get an APS, you don't need that. You need the Mac, right? Did he have a PM by chance? A little pistol? He had a uh, APS. Oh, you hate to see it. You check this green box. Exposed one. What? This is a Dan box. Right <laughs> What's here. that? Oh, as a two by one, I got so excited. What's a Dan box? I'm gonna go loot this. Uh, you know, like a box that you probably shouldn't <laughs> loot, but you never know what could be inside of it. You know? The possibilities are endless. Those are the best kind of boxes. I wanted a Macroft so bad for you. Not seeing any yet. Not yet. All right. Where are you? Are you near the uh, pillbox? I am. Yeah. Okay. Come back towards it now. Are you underneath or? Uh, no, I'm near the Dan box. <laughs> I'm looting. I'm looting uh, Postman Pat. Okay. This is Dan loot. Look at him back there. Oh. You just look at him. Don't even know what's coming. Some poor little fellow. <laughs> <laughs> that was all you had, huh? Oh, it. Someone just kicked something. All I got. Someone kicked something. Really? Checking behind the dumpster. Down here. The dumpster boy. There's one in the pit. And then summit both. I'm behind the dumpster just so you know. Okay, coming to you. Oh, baby, a key card. Sorry. Sorry, I muted it so I didn't yell at you. <laughs> you had a key card. <laughs> a lab card, lab card, sorry, lab card, lab card. Yeah, a little entry key. You know, that's like found and raid on the market, 200 and some K, 220 K. Ooh, that, that yeah. get, gets me going a little bit. Sauced up. I right, there's running behind you right now. Very faint. Maybe to your right a little bit. Yeah, somewhere in that direction. Okay. Might be under. Yeah, here's some shifting. Okay. Let's, uh, hey man, that's good eats. I might be worth uh, making a move on. 
So I'm gonna just ADS right here. Above, here. Got him. Let's go, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, alive? Oh, oh, oh! It's a TT, Dan. Oh, oh, I saw the pistol. Oh, Dan, I saw the pistol. Oh. I'm on the I'm on the bridgeway. I'm on the bridgeway. Okay, I'm packing a mag in the uh, in the stairwell. I don't know about you, but I think we've done some good work here. Um, so I am on this the ledge where he was shooting you from. Where are you at? Uh, still in the stairwell. Okay. I'm gonna come on up. Can I? I think I'm stuck here. <laughs> oh, are you, yeah, I know what you mean. Like without um, falling. You do have to fall. Yeah. I do believe. But you can fall. You can. Um, White box? Crouch fall onto those boxes over there, or maybe even land on the fence itself. But yeah, it's, it's a less scary fall that way. Okay. I can also try and catch you. You know what? I'm going down. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't mind me. On my way. Right, right, let's practice. Catch this. Yoink. Right out of the air. Easy. Flight work. Um. Am I close enough? Uh. Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> Can you get my bag? Is my bag gone? Uh, no, I yoinked it right out of the air. Oh, you caught right it! There. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were memeing. No. Oh, all right. <laughs> Just all right, let's get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Gate three? Or sh I got my. I got a fact. Yeah, we're, we're right here. Probably just. Yeah. There weren't enough EMCs like that. There's plenty that were not accounted for, so <laughs> they could be in there for sure. You got any need? I do. I have a okay, flash so and a normie. This one first. Okay. And then we're going to use them in the next room. Okay. I'm going to open. Throw the flash in there. Uh, it has to be reversed order, right? You want it on the left of okay. your pockets. Anything that's like left pockets gets thrown first. Okay. Ready? Yep. Let them have it. Nothing. Go. Huh? Nothing. Woo. Well, you know, a little two, three thousand ruble flash could save five hundred dollars worth of kit, and, or five hundred thousand rubles worth of kit. GG. Nicely done, man. You think that one was a player on the rafter or no? Player scav? Yes, a hundred percent. Yep, they won't go there for sure. Now you definitely killed a person. I killed a person. Nice. Well, blam. I'm gonna play a little victory music over here. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Good up. Ladies and gentlemen, spam the hard W. Oof. Not bad. I think that's. I think that's good. I think that's good. I think we go out on top like that. We were two and three today. That's not bad. You, things you love to see dot org dot net. Yeah, we're three and three on today. Just had to get the ball rolling a little bit. Let's 
got just got to get it rolling. I mean, his his gear is really good. Really good. Yeah, we got the A. I really wanted that AKMS so we didn't have to build another one. Let me check with Markstrom. Markstrom. Dan. Good raids, man. We I, we I feel like we ended on a high note. Absolutely. Feels good. It's good. We both survived. We got Ooh. some good kills. And even the less successful raids some very solid moments yes uh, i'm gonna there's definitely gonna be a marks from compilation on my youtube channel in the next Love couple days i look forward to it <laughs> um how long you stream for are you going for a little bit yeah i think i'm gonna keep her going here for a bitty okay cool i got a little new game thursday and then i'm um, gonna send everyone your way but uh can what you, you playing today for new game thursday i think i'm gonna play there's a new game out by the company that uh develops shovel knight so kind of in oh, like okay. the yeah, NES, yeah. NES wheelhouse. Um, but um, can you, if you don't mind, can you tell people where they can find you in your live so we can hit you up with some link spam on my sure. side? Live on twitch.tv slash Markstrom starting at 0630 Eastern uh, for about five hours. And most days we are doing twice as nice, meaning that we go live again for another five hours at 2 p.m. Eastern. So if that works better for you, we're live then too. Every day but Saturday. Twitch.tv slash Markstrom. You got it. Yo, good raids, man. I'm glad we had a chance to get together. Likewise, man. All right, always, man. always, always a blast. All right, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. Have Later. a good Later, buddy. Yo, check. Can we get some easy clap in the chat for Markstrom? Look, sure, we didn't upgrade today. But we upgraded in many, many of different ways. Many, many of different ways. We learned, look, we got some stash back. Oh, we got a lot of stash back. We got, dude, that's, I'm not saying we made our money back today, but I'm not not saying it either. You know, we've got little vase. Maybe we hang on to that for later. Little vase for later. Uh, you just the rule is you can't leave your Tarkov stash a mess. That's the rule. Can't leave it a mess. And we will not. We will keep this gear on for next time though. Um, got a Labs key card. Put that bad boy on the market right now. Two thirty nine five ninety six. Not quite there yet. Um. Let's just dump some stuff here. Okay, a couple broken LCDs. That should cover it. That should cover it. Yeah, please, you guys, please, uh, if you enjoyed Markstrom, show him some love. Hit him with the follow. I think we, we host him a lot in the mornings, right? He's, I feel like whenever we're online, whenever we're about to go online, um, we got him on, which is good eats.